Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tardy Penis. Um, so I think we've pretty much talked to everyone we want to talk to. Let's check out our journal here real quick. We do have to find out who's threatening him for being gay. We have to inform Metallus that Vernon is the threat. Okay, no. I don't think he's the threat, unless he probably kills someone because of that. Uh, access the tunnel beneath the city to find his ring. Find Quintus and investigate whether he's a threat. Uh, I think find a way into the abandoned palace. Ah, talk to Urin. Urin we have not talked to yet. Uh, obtain an immaculate door from him. Identify the people, person most likely to describe. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the only person we haven't talked to is Urin, which I don't know. Let's see, Urin's house is right here. Maybe we should start there. And is he home? That's not. Is that you? Urin, perfect. Hey, you're the one who killed all those bandits, aren't you? God, I sure oh, am. That must have been. What do you want with me? What's your story? I don't see why I should share it with you. You know, fair enough. I took a drink because I thought you were going to spill it. Do you know way out of here? So my wife disappears a couple of weeks ago, and now everybody thinks I know a way out of here. I wish you idiots would just leave me alone. Fair enough. Did your wife find a way to escape the city? I know well, you just said that, but... Anymore. That's all I know. I want to know where she is. How should I know where she went? I woke up one morning and she was just gone. Didn't say goodbye, didn't take anything with her. And now you people won't stop harassing me, judging me, asking me questions like you think I had something to do with it. Well, I didn't. And nobody cares that I've lost my wife. They just love a bit of scandal or to find out how they can get out of here too. You're all animals. You're hiding something. Intimidate. Ugh, should I do it? Fuck it. I swear I didn't hurt her. I would never. I love her. And if I'd known she was leaving, I would have gone with her. I honestly don't know anything. I keep going over it in my head. Did someone kill her? Surely that would have broken the dwarves' law. Maybe she went wandering into the underground tunnels, or into the palace, and never found her way out? But why would she leave in the night? Was she involved with someone else? Not that it's any of your business, but no, I don't think so. She was loyal, I think. She used to write me love letters. I still have one, somewhere. But even if she'd been seeing someone... She couldn't have kept it a secret in a place this small. True. Rastasia would have known about it for sure. Who is Rastasia? I'll be going now. All right. Please, let me know if you hear anything about Macy. Macy's Day Parade? I've heard it's fun. Yes, ma'am. I hear you're handy in a fight. Glad you're on our side, love. What's your story? My story? <laughs> Oh, not much to tell, love. I just work the land, make sure we've got enough food for everyone. Can't afford to run out here, you know? It's hard work. Probably harder than being Jarl. But I don't mind it. Keeps me active as I'm getting on a bit. And Everybody's just kind of staring at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't think the Jarl's works hard? No, love. I don't think he works hard at all. And I'd say the same to his face if I ever saw him. But he's always hiding up there in his citadel. Doing... You know what? I'm not even sure what he does. I know he doesn't keep order. We've got the dwarves' law for that. But live and let live, I say. As long as I have a roof over my head and food on my table, and good neighbors like Gulvar, I can't complain. Do you know way out of here? Oh, come on, love. It's not that bad, is it? You've only just arrived. Why not give the place a chance before you go looking for a way out? Fair enough. Uh, I don't belong here. I need to get out. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm afraid I don't know if there's a way out or not. 
Now that I think about it, you might want to talk to Degland over at the Honest Trader. Offered to sell me a way out a while back, but his price was steep. Up to you. I already For did. Now. And I don't think it's gonna work. Let's actually check this sunken house. See if there's anything in here in the past. Because if there's something here that might have implications to someone, probably not. Oh, a trap door requires key, eh? Okay. I was totally right. Now, who would have that key? Maybe that's where... What's her face went off to? Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. I gotta remember there's a cave down there. Next on my list is to do a bit of hunting in some houses. I think I'm gonna check this dude's house first. What is your name, Rikus? Let's see here. Where is your house? Is it up here? Citadel. Honest treasure. I'm gonna find it. I swear to God, I'm gonna find it. There it is. So it's on the inside of the loop, looks like. So is it this one? Vernon's house. Oh, he's right across the way. Right here, huh? Okay. Let's go in while everybody's out and about. Have ourselves a look, see if we can find some dirt on him. Maybe that'll take his armor. All right, let's see here. Unfinished letter. Oh. Interesting. Uh, can you move the text? This is your final warning. Okay, so he's the one threatening Vernon. Red inkwell. That's good to know. Armor's challenge. I've already read that. Probably would have gave me a level. Fork. I don't know what that is. Orvin ingots. It's got a warhammer here. Rhinestone. Okay, well, we did find who was threatening Vernon. So who do we take that to? Do we take it to Vernon or do we take it to Rykart? And I'm saying we take it to Vernon. It's very funny that it was that way. Oh, I don't think Everybody's I've spoken to you. talking about how you killed those looters. <laughs> Well done. Okay, that's a little scary, but what's your story? Why, you think if you butter me up, I'll start making food for you too? <laughs> Forget it. My kitchen's for Citadel residents only. Go make your own food. I just wanted to talk to you. Well, fine. My story? I'm the Citadel cook in this life. Not exactly how I thought my life would end up, but it's better than it was on the surface. How are you doing? What was your life on the surface uh, like? That. Seems like a long time ago. I had a very easy life for myself in Markarth. Married to ah. a silver merchant. Maybe it was a little too easy. I was bored. <laughs> A lot. Started looking for something to do. A friend introduced me to Skooma. Uh -oh. It was fun. For a while. But you know how it goes. I was yep. a living cliche. <laughs> Lost my husband. My Got all your teeth still. That's good. My easy life. <laughs> I don't know if Skooma then does that. But. I found myself <sighs> doing things I'm not proud of. That's when I realized if I couldn't keep myself away from the skooma, I'd have to keep it away from me. So when I found the entrance to this place, I knew what I had to do. Haven't touched the stuff since. Still get the cravings. I have some skooma on me if you want it. Sometimes I'd kill for one last bottle. 
but uh oh no point in thinking about it down here right Oh, I have some school. <laughs> uh, no. Do you know a way out of here? I got myself trapped in here for a good reason. No yep, way I'm sure going did. back up there. So, no, I don't know a way out, and I wouldn't want to know. Fair enough. I'll be All going. Right. See you later. Well, good for you. Taking it into your own hands, quitting cold turkey some good stuff now which one is right or uh vernon at vernon's fresh produce okay that makes sense okay i don't like reichard so we're gonna uh-oh uh-oh is he okay requires key requires key wait what time is it i can't wait here did I just miss him from the hours? What time is it? 7 p.m. That probably means that he's already gone off to bed. So we're going to wait until it's time for him to get back to work. 8 a.m. should be good. And he's still not here. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I'll find him. Ah, uh, Vernon, Any there you are. Luck working out who my secret admirer is. The person writing threatening notes is Rikus. Rikus? The big crazy nod who walks around with his weapon drawn? Of all the people it could have been, he's the most terrifying. True. I haven't spoken with oh, him yet. All right. Well, see what you can do. I think it would only inflame things if I speak of him myself. Fair enough. Let's home. go find the big dummy. Wait, have I talked to you? I hear you defended the city from attackers. Well, aren't you making friends quickly? Thank you. I'm glad you came when you did. Yeah, there's actually quite a few people that I haven't talked to yet. What's your story? Oh my, it's very nice of you to take an interest in my life, dear. But you don't need to humor an old woman. I'm not humoring you. Hear me. Oh my god. I am not humoring you. I'm genuinely interested. <laughs> really? Well, you're the first person in the city to say that. Well, let's see. These days, I mostly just sweep the streets here, keep them clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness, or so they say. It's not very inspiring, as you can imagine. But the alternative is to wind up like poor Dooley. Who the fuck is Dooley? Oh, you haven't met him yet. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll introduce himself to you sooner or later. He's homeless. He lives in a cave by the lake. I feel sorry oh, for Oh, really? Him. I think most of us do. But ever since his brother died, he's... He's been obsessing over some long-lost treasure. They huh. all decided because he can't work, he doesn't deserve to live in a house like the rest of us. So he lives in a tent in a cave of sorts. But don't let him drag you into it. I'm quite sure it's imaginary. A great <clears throat> loss can do terrible things to a person's mind. I know what you mean. Well, anyway, that's about all there is about me to tell, I'm afraid. I'm not very interesting. I'm sure there's more to you than that. Well, the most important thing in my life is prayer. So let me ask you. Have you found room in your heart for Mara, Mara the Mother Goddess? <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, I just remembered I have to go do something. Uh, I can't, couldn't care less about your god, old woman. I have something to do. Of course, dear. Don't worry, I get that reaction a lot. Perhaps I'll see you later. ask whether something will break the dwarf's law. It probably will. Oh, I bet you're a hit at parties. Speaking of Did which, I talk to will yet? we see you at the tavern tonight? Absolutely not. Same as always. Goodbye, Restacia. And please, stay out of trouble. I hey, Restacia. I some looters for us. If only there was something I could do to thank you. Let me know if you think of anything. What's your story? You want to hear about little old me? Aren't you adorable? 
But wouldn't you rather hear what I know about everyone else around here? Go on. Ask me. You know a way out of here? one way out of this city, and that's through the bottom of a mug of moonshine, if you get me. Solve all your problems. At least for a while. But then again, some folks will overdo it. Ulrin, the Dunmer fellow, can't miss him. Hit the drinks pretty hard after his wife, Maisie, disappeared. Just mm. sits there, night after night. Poor guy. Wish I knew what happened to her. Caught lots of people talking, but nobody seems to know anything. Odd. Have you heard any rumors? Nobody here locks their door, except the Jarl. I hear there's a locked room on the top floor of the Citadel, but nobody's seen what's inside. Heard any rumors? There's something creepy about Marius up in the Citadel. Plus, he never comes down to the tavern. And you just can't trust a man who doesn't drink. Hey, I don't drink. Calm down. Did you know there are tunnels running all the way under the city? Last one to go down there was Only Brandon. milk I drink. It sent him to his deathbed. Did you know that beautiful palace above the lake is sealed? Brawl says the last person to go in there locked it behind him. I wonder what's in there. Did you notice the big crack in the floor near the city gate? They say some poor fool fell to his death trying to scale the front of the citadel. Have you seen Rigus walking around in that shiny armor of his all paranoid? Like those dwarven statues are going to... I'm going to just keep hitting this until she runs out of dialogue. And she oh, did. so soon? Well, you know where to find me, honey. Shh. She's right there. Shut up. Um, so... Huh. Let's go find... Rikus. He's probably up practicing if I know him, which I do. Vaguely, barely. Talk to you. Have I talked to you? Domitus? Yeah. Get away from me, yeah, you're the I asshole. I forgot. There you are. Hey, bro. What do you want? Uh, I want you to stop walking, first of all. So you're the one who's threatening Vernon. Yeah, so what? What are you gonna do about it? I cast a spell that makes you Vernon's pleasure thrall. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to stop threatening him. I'm gonna make you a sex slave. I wager you don't even have the spells to pull off something like that. If you're trying to scare me, you'll have to do a lot better than that. Damn it. You yeah. about your threats from Vernon. What are you going to do to stop me? Uh, I'm gonna ask you to stop threatening and him. Why should I? Do you know what he is? His, his presence here is going to break the dwarves' law and get us all killed. Uh, if that's true, why haven't the dwarves' laws already been broken? Maybe they haven't worked it out yet, but they will. Now take your stupid arguments and get lost. God damn. Okay. Bye. Well, back to Vernon to see if I can talk to him about anything. I for sure thought there was going to be a duel or something. We'll see. Hey, Vernon. Oh, right. What about him? I've spoken to him, but he hasn't. <laughs> but I haven't sorted it out well, yet. All I can ask is that you do your best. Okay. Well, that. Okay. Stop. Phasing through him to step on the door. I'm gonna phase through Wanathan here for a second, but that seems to be a bit of a dead end. So let's keep snooping on anyone else's place. Golvers. He's the guy that uh, showed us to the place, right? He, he was our tour guide. 
see if he's got anything interesting in here. Dwarven stuff, that's fine. A broom, cool. Large metal plate. Hide armor. No, seems he's clean. For now. Oh, this is his axe. Maybe I can take this and put it in somewhere else to frame him for something. That'd be interesting. Okay, next on our list. Yismir. She's right there, I believe. But she'll never know. <laughs> okay. Nor's of Skyrim. Just got a lot of armor. Steel coin purse, I don't want to. Moon sugar and skooma, eh? Common clothes. Nothing too out of the ordinary here, it looks like. Room up there. I feel like those heads have something to do with something. Didn't find anything here. So next we go to... I don't know why I said I know where we're going next. Let's see. And here is Oren's house. I'm going to wait for Rikar to, uh, you know, go away. Stop it. How am I still hidden? There we go. Now I'm hidden. Or I wasn't hidden. Okay. Oh. Into the underground tunnels. Letter from... Oh. From his wife. I know I don't tell you no this enough, but you are a beautiful man. I know hate... I know you hate being trapped down here, but I honestly don't mind it. As long as I'm here with you, I'm home. Love always. Interesting. The locked room. He's got a bunch of books. That have to do with... Lock picking. And he's got a... Got a... Let's enter the tunnels. And hopefully we don't die of the radiation. Otherwise, I'm just gonna reload but i'm gonna try to not die and whip myself around all right i hear some creature okay we seem to not be dying okay good it was just a skeever okay hey well here we are in the underground tunnels i didn't think we'd uh get here this quickly, if I'm honest. Empty wine bottle. Looks like just to be a sort of dead end. That's a lot of blood. Oh, hello. So you can actually do this. Uh... I'll take those. Fuck it. You can actually do this quest at level five. Because I saw that uh, once you turn level five, that's when she sends you the uh, letter to help find your brother. So that's why the enemies are so low level. There's skooma, moonshine. Okay. Bunch of barrels down here. There's a... Uh, Excavation site, Dwimmer excavation site. Think it just gives me fragments? Yeah. I'll, I'll see what I can do with those at some point. Level 34. And these are the tunnels that... Vernon's key, yeah, see. Master robes of ritual. Immune to stagger and taking half damage from attacks while casting a ritual spell. That's interesting. I wonder what's with all the blood. Huh. 
Marcus Shero. Is this something? What the fuck is that? Yo, that's sick as fuck. Okay. I think we've explored all the... Yeah. Here's the dead skeever that I did. Yeah, and then this goes back up the way I came. That's just the void. Interesting. Okay, sorry about that. I had a bit of an interruption. What the fuck was I doing? <laughs> it it might have been nothing for y'all, but goddamn. That was uh, quite a bit of time for me, about an hour or so. Anyway, we went through all this. I'm going to go through it one more time just to see if I didn't take any other paths. Yeah, because there was this room up here with this. Uh-huh. Ebony Claw of Extermination. Sounds cool. These things I can actually take. Some skooma. A master lock chest. Okay. Easy. Actually goaded. 35 lock picks. I'll take them all, every day, all day. And two armors I don't necessarily care about, right? Yeah, it's just hide armor and leather boots. Okay. I'll take the arrows. Where does this go? Honest trader. Interesting. Now there is a blood trail coming up from here. I wonder how this is connected to the other underground tunnels that we went to. Roll scholars chambers. Okay. Anything over here? This is... Do I have the key for this? I do not. Okay, I thought since it just said chambers, I think those are my chambers, but I don't know. Probably not. There's something in there? No? Okay. So these all go to everyone's rooms, I assume. Ah. Identify the human remains in the underground tunnels. Interesting. So there's a knife. A couple of septum. Septum. Hmm. Wine bottles. Ingots. Huh. How would we go about doing that, eh? The closest room here. Oh shit. Hello. Giant skeever. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, bye bye, buddy. You have a good day. Oh, he's back. Hello, friend. Underground tunnel key. A skull. I should take the engraved necklace. Oh, here we go. Oh, show him the necklace. Oh, no, dude. Oh, that's unfortunate, bro. And I think that was a dead end, so now. We just need to go back the way we came in. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I thought she got out. Dang. And I believe it was over here. Yeah. This little... Little torch marking our exit. Thank you. Hopefully he's not home. I don't know. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here before we're caught trespassing. And let's see. Where is he? Is this him? It is. Can I help you with something? Is this your wife's necklace, dude? Yes, it is. Where did you find it? I found it in the under in the tunnels underneath your house inside a giant skeever. A skeever? You mean she's she's dead? Oh, God. Yeah, sorry, man. She's dead, isn't she? I need to see her one last time. Can you show me where she is? There's not much left to see. Oh yes, of course. Maybe it's best if I don't. I, I don't know if I have the stomach for it. Oh God. Literally just a skeleton. All this time, please, at least tell me how she died. Do you think the skeever killed her or 
Or did it get to her after she was already dead? There's no way of knowing. I think you killed her and left her body down in there. No. Uh, there's no way of knowing. No way of knowing? Gods, this is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I... I think I need to be alone now. Well, sorry, bud. Oh, you're Dooley. Oh, uh, hello. I... I wasn't following you. Okay, you sound like Adam Sandler doing a bit. What's your story? My what? My, my story? Oh, do you want to hear about me? I'm She's sorry, just taking up all I sorts of jobs, huh? Very good. I only remember some things. I am... Um, Why is she staring at me while she does it? It's creepy. Horrible. He used to look after me. And he said he always would. But then he died. Now nobody looks after me. I... I'm not very good at remembering things. Sometimes I forget. So I need help. That's why I need some help finding Harrible's treasure. What are you looking for? Well, my brother told me before he died that he had left me something very precious in a secret chest. He hid it away just for me. I've asked mm. the others for help, but they don't help me. The yard even wrote me this letter, but I'm not very good with words. Here. Do you... Do you think you can read it for me? Tell me what, what it says. Okay. Let's see here. Little books. A letter from the Jarl to Doobie. I'm writing you in relation to your continual requests of assistance finding your brother's hidden chest containing a so-called fortune. While I am sympathetic to your plight and passing of your brother for some years ago, uh, I wish to impress you... I wish to impress upon you the important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. It is not my place to speculate on whether your brother might have misled you or whether you are simply misremembering his words to you. I do not possess... Oh, I do not propose to discuss this with you again f further. Uh, I have... <laughs> <laughs> As I've had quite a lot of few complaints from your neighbors about you bothering them, I must ask that you stop this behavior immediately. Sorry, bud. Well, what does it say? I read your letter. You did? Oh, thank you. What does it say? The girl says there's no fortune and you should stop going on about it. I... what? No, that can't be right. My, my brother, he, he told me. He told me he, he left me a fortune. He would lie to me. Why would he lie to me? You'll help me, won't you? You'll help me find it, please. I believe you, and I'll help you look for it. Thank you. All I know is rusty key hiding somewhere in the city. And you leave this rusty key. My brother gave it to me to unlock it. Did your brother tell you anything about where it was hidden? I I <coughs> I, I can't. I, sorry, I don't remember things so good. But he said it was hidden under the ground and that I have to Hold my breath. That's all I remember. Mm. Do you know a way out of here? A way out? Oh, no. I, I can't leave. I need to find Harrible's treasure first. About your fortune? Yes. What about it? Uh, I'll be going now. Oh. All right. Okay, well, holding your breath... And getting a rusty key is clear indication of this, where I found earlier. 
the tunnels, the cave tunnels, I believe. I wonder where this one goes. And I wonder if I'll need... Aha! Dooley's rusty key. I was totally right. Okay. This is quite the underground tunnel. Goes down pretty far. I want to see... No, that's just a pipe. But also just a pipe. Alright, let's see down here. There's something. I don't know what that says, though. There's a... There's the head. There's nothing over here. Okay. Maybe now I can get some air? No. He really expected his brother to hold his breath this entire time. That's something? No. No. This looks like a gate. Let's see. Was there anything here? Oh, or is it up here? Okay, there's some salmon to catch. Aha! Fishing pole and a skull and some mushrooms. Uh oh, who the fuck is that? I don't know. Take the arrows, take the potion of cured disease. Definitely need that one. Hello, sir. You're a Falmer. Or while well, you're wearing dwarven and Falmer gear. Stop right there. What is this one doing here? Oh, you're an Argonian. Uh, so am I. I'm Tardy Penis. I'm looking for a treasure chest. Ah, the locked chest. Yes, we have it, but have been unable to open it. Why don't you come in and join us for dinner? I have some questions first. Very well, but hurry. We are hungry. What are you doing here? We are explorers like you. We were exploring the bottom of a great mine when we found this cave. But just as we found it, the earth shook and the mine collapsed behind us. This is our home now. We are pleased to see someone in the flesh. Give me real cannibal vibes right now, sir. Ma'am, madam. Sir? Oh no. Uh, what can you tell me about we the chest? We found it in the water down below, but we could not unlock it, so we dragged it up here. It is locked away in the lonely tower. Okay, who is this we? My siblings and I. Don't worry, we will all share in your company. God, you are just <laughs> pausing at the exact wrong moments I want you to pause at. Uh, what is this place? We are not sure. A lonely tower sitting all by itself in a forgotten pocket of the earth. It is strange, is it not? It is. How long have you been down so here? So curious this one is. We have been here for years, surviving on fish and this wondrous mushroom. And whatever else we can scrounge up. Mmm, like people? Good, That's good. all the question I this had. This one asks many questions. Now, let us eat. Hmm? You're obviously planning to eat me. Try it, I dare you. <laughs> it is wise not to trust us. But the wise ones taste just the same as the foolish. Alright, bro. Into our lair. Quickly, let us eat it. What's this? No, dinner comes to us. Stop rolling away from me. Holy shit, that hurt. Ran on, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, whatever. Warven plate armor. Don't have that, huh? Dwarven Pike I have. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, lonely tower key. Okay. Flawless boots. Don't need any of that. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you whore. I don't know, Magicka. Oh, God damn it. All right, come on. It hurts us. Yep. We just wanted to feed. Just wanted to feed. I know, I know. Don't need any of your shit either. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else here to feast on my flesh? Oh, cool. What is this? Master chest? Okay. Oh. Fucking sick. Found it first try. Right here. Well, not first try, but you know what I mean. It was very easy. Epic. All right. Looks like... Yeah, see? They're, they've eaten people before, eh? <laughs> All right, let's go into this tower. Use the key, dumbass. Don't waste your once a day key on that. Okay, more dead bodies. I can take these ruined books. Good for Latoria. Oops, didn't mean to take that, whatever that was. Yeah, I'll take the ingots, but I won't take any of the other. Yeah, that's 42 pounds, it said. Jesus Christ. Citadel key. Hidden fortune. Complete letter to Dooley. Okay. Uh, where is the letter to Dooley? <sighs> I wait for those words to go away because I, I have trouble reading this enough. If you're reading this or have someone you trust to read it to you, it means that I'm dead. I'm sorry I won't be able to t look after you anymore. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I am dead. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry I won't have anyone to take after you anymore. I want you to try really hard to remember this important. Yarl Metellus cannot be trusted. After leaving, after leaving you this note, I am going to confront him and what he has been doing in that locked room in the Citadel. Oh, that's probably what this key is for. If I do not return, it is probably because he has killed me. With this note, you'll... Find a key to ask the uh, find the key to your own locked room. You'll have to find someone with a good heart and a good head. You are always uh you are always a better judge of character than me. They'll know what to do. Your brother. Okay. Well. Does this go into the locked room? No. Sure doesn't. Oh, there's some stuff here though. Here, move this. Minor destruction, scaled helmet of illusion, wielding, a oh, gold ore. Oh shit, I'll take all that ore. That's nice. But that looks to be it. Okay. So now we just go back the way we came? We can, right? I don't remember it having a fall off. Or somewhere we... Oh, look! Yay! Excavation site! I like that these are all scattered everywhere. It's pretty cool. Like, it's, it's a... It's a fun little... Oh, and look! The light goes out when you've already done it. Oh, cool. And I got a perk point. It's a nice little... You know, like... Ah moment when you find one. Okay, this is cool. This is a cool little water portal okay so we're gonna head back god do we talk to Dooley first or do we just wait where's the fucking where's the entrance oh it's up here okay <laughs> I'm scared do we talk to Dooley first or do we just go in and look at what they're doing here yikes I don't know man I'll talk to him first. Talk to him first, find out what's going on. Because unfortunately, 
the Jarl is probably the one doing all the naughty bits. Let's be real. Okay. Like that I can jump out of the water there every time. Well, Wanathan. So where the fuck is Dooley? Maybe we can't talk to him? You know what? Fuck it. Let's go find out what he's doing. And then we can talk to Dooley after. Unless he's right there. Is that Dooley? No, that's a dickhole. Hello, my friend. Habik, you're oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Your wife. I remember. I remember. Huh. Okay. Going into the Citadel to find out what that dude's up to. So who's got money on what? Uh, experimentation? Uh, just cannibal eating? Uh, God, what else could there be? What else could there be, actually? Just straight up murder? I mean, that's pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much everything that goes through my head. It's right here, right? Yeah. These are the stairs. And God damn. Let's go. Let's go find out who he's fucking with. Now. Can I be seen? Requires key. Okay. Now I'm going to close the gate to not suspicion even though my okay this is pretty uh yeah unlock it with the key eh, it don't work okay cool dwarven bow of crystals black ice okay not uh not something too crazy master door though unlock it with the citadel key who am I detected? Okay. Oh, sex slave was not oh God, what I thought. Not again. Please don't hurt me. Holy shit. You're alive. I'm not going to hurt you. The gods. Quickly. You have to let me down before that monster comes back. Uh, all right. Thank you. He'll be here any moment, so be quiet and follow my lead. Okay. One thing, get down, dude. Whoa, what the fuck? There you are, you filthy pig. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Let me talk to him first. Please, Macy, be reasonable. If you attack me in here, you'll break the dwarf's law and kill us all. So you were the bad guy all along. After what you've done to me, I just don't care. No, oh, think of your husband. Did that teleport me back in time? It did. Now. Damn it. Oh, uh, yep. Huh. Well, before you talk to me, sir, I'm actually going to reload that because I don't want everyone to die because she goes off the handle. So back to the Citadel. Now, I know this is a bit save scummy, but honestly, this quest is too interesting to just let it end like that. It's just too cool. I love it too much. I want it to keep going. So it's going to keep going. We're not going to release her this time. We learned our lesson there. We are probably going to talk to... Oh, God. Should we talk to the husband and tell him?
And then this just leads out to Forgotten City, yeah. I'll do this again just because... Yeah, I want the XP. Here's the master door. Okay, and here she is. Oh God, not a I'm not gonna hurt you. Gods. Quickly, you have to let me down before that monster comes back. I have some questions first. I'm really sorry, but I can't let what? you down. Why not? If this gets out, Metellus has broken the door's laws. You're all going to die. Because there's nothing in it for me. Yeah, fuck that. So you're just going to leave me here? If you want, I can put you out of your misery. I'll have to look for another way to save you. What? No, that's not... I... Please don't leave me here. Please. I'll do anything. Please don't leave me. Oh, it feels horrible, but I have to. Oh, God. Oh, God, it feels so bad. Oh, come on, dude. What the hell happened to me? What the hell was that? I don't even know. We're gonna go talk to the husband. And we're gonna start telling people. Let's talk to the husband. Hopefully he doesn't fly off the handle. Uh, I am going to save it right here, though, because I haven't all episode. But holy shit, this is just so cool. Okay, we're going to go find her husband. Tell him she's alive, that she's being held captive. And then hopefully he can scrounge up. I don't think I've talked to we you. Talk, but be quick. Domitus could be back any second. Oh, what's your story? I'm Safira. I'm from Markarth. From a part called the Warrens. If you've never gone there, don't. Just don't. About a year ago, I met a guy there. Said he was there for business. Nobody has any business being in the Warrens. But he had coin, and when he saw me, I saw a way out. Long story short, I followed him here. The more I think about it, though, I would have been better off in the Warrens with the beggars and skeevers. Okay. Do you know a way out of here? Why can't you talk to me in front of a Dominus? Because he's incredibly nasty when he gets angry, and if he saw us speaking, he'd be furious. Don't the laws protect you from him? If only. Look, whoever dreamt up the Dwarves Law didn't think it through. Maybe it was meant to protect people, but what it really does is make everybody too afraid to stand up for themselves or challenge people in power, and Dominus knows that. He's next in line as Jarl of this place, so he gets his way by threatening to punish anyone who doesn't do what he wants. He's never physically hit anyone here, but the point is, he doesn't have to. I've seen him make grown men cry. Nords, they don't cry easily. I cry most days. I think about leaving him, but where would I go? He says he'd make sure I wound up living in poverty again, like poor old Dooley. Is there anything I can help you to... Anything I can do to help? No. Interfering will only make things worse. The only way you can help me True. is to find a way out of this city or do something about the dwarves' law. I don't know if there's a way out or not, but there are places beneath this city nobody has ever explored. If I were you, I'd start with the tunnels. I'll do my well, best. I suppose that's all I can ask for. Do you know a way out Funny, of here? I was going to ask you the same question. <laughs> okay, I'll be going. All right. But we never had this chat, okay? You got it. Oh, shit. Oh, we just passed it on the stairway, swear to God. Is this outside? Okay. Let's go find the husband. I know that was a bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of an awkward conversation. I should have waited for that, but... I never get the chance to talk to her, so I wanted to talk to her. Um... You? No, that's Vernon. Okay, there's the couple, looks like. There's Gaia. I think that's her name. Where is Dude Bro? Wait, doesn't he have a shop? What time is it? It's 8 p.m., so he's probably indoors. Let's wait until it's. Oh, God, I just 
realized that waiting here means that she's there for a whole nother day, dude. Oh, rip. Oh. Vernon's Vest Produce. Firefly Finery. Finery. That's the one, right? Pretty sure. I don't know, honestly. This recording is getting a little bit too long, but I am really just wanting to talk to that man. God damn it. Why aren't you in your shop? All right, where are you at? This one, you know, no, no. Get away no. from me, peasant. I don't want anyone seeing us together. Shut the hell up. You dickhole. Should I check his house? This is Yasmir's house. This is Orin's house. Let's go inside and check to see if he's home. If he's not home, I have no idea where he would be. Oh, there he is. Can I help you with something? Uh Metellus is keeping Macy prisoner in a locked what? room. You're serious, aren't you? That's it. No, 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 no. God fucking damn it. <laughs> well. I was hoping he could rally up the people and bring them down peacefully. You. What do you want? Damn it. Shut up. You fucking ass. I want your armor, you dickhole. God damn it. I don't know if he already went inside. I didn't see him go. Vitus? I don't think I've talked to you. Oh well. Let's try to get to Metallus before he does. If that's the case. Should be right here. Okay, let's try to get him before he does. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Killing him would cause a paradox, which will send me back, but I need him to just confess to his crimes. I don't need him to... Oh, shit, where the fuck is he? Oh, no. The sun, it's gonna kill us all. God damn it. <sighs> Where the fuck could he be? Well, I didn't get to him in time. On your way back to the original timeline. Okay. Well. Round three. Okay, so I already discovered her, right? I was going to talk to the husband from this save. Yeah. Okay. Free her. Accuse him of being the threat. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go back upstairs and we're going to find him. Tell him we understand he's the threat, and that will kill him if he doesn't cooperate. And hopefully he'll co cooperate. God damn it, where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Duh. All right, you sick son of a bitch. Hello again, my friend. Any word about the matter we discussed? I know who's going to destroy the city. Well, I hope your investigation has been thorough. I don't want you accusing the first person you suspect. So, who is it? It was you all along. I know what's in your locked room. Hey, keep your voice down. Do you want to get us all killed? Look, you might have noticed we're being watched by the dwarven statues everywhere you look. 
but I managed to break I the did know that. in that room. So in there, there is no dwarves law. Understand? What happens in my private room stays there. Absolutely if my not. If little secret gets out, then you and everyone else in this place is going to suffer badly. What you do next is up to you. You can keep your mouth shut, in which case we all live. Or you can let her go, in which case we all die. I'll keep quiet if you give me 2,000 gold. Um... I won't be part of this. I'm letting her go. God damn it. Well, I, we get... you oh, I don't no want to do that option thing. either. I said I'd do everything in my power to help you. But here's the thing. There is no way out of here. You're stuck here for the rest of your life. Now get out of my citadel. I'm bored of you. Okay. Well, fuck. What else is there to do? I mean, I know I have to let her out. I have to tell the husband. Those are my only two options. I do need to get in there. I don't know who Quintus is. Wasn't there someone who wanted to overthrow him? Holy shit. This is such a, such a conundrum. Like I don't even fucking, I can't even comprehend. You, Hello, was it man. you? No. Hello, again, my friend. Looters were looking for an Imperial named Quintus. Know him? Quintus? No. There's no one by that name here. But if you're looking for an Imperial, I'd check the Citadel. That place is crawling with Imperials. Okay, well that's good to know. Shit! How do we fucking... Son of a bitch. We're going to follow this lead for now. It's not, it's obviously not the final straw. We got to find a way to fucking overthrow this guy. But we need to find, we need to find someone who can, is it you? My eye on you. <laughs> oh, you're the, you're the deaf guy. Gotcha, gotcha. Anyone else? I can put my weapon away because I can't kill anyone. Oh, maybe. Oh. I hear you. You must be Quintus. Quintus, my name is Marius. You must have the wrong person. You're lying. And perhaps you're not as stupid as you look. Well done, you found me. Now, what do you want? I want to know why you're hiding from your family. My family? Ha! The Dark Brotherhood likes to use terms like family, but they don't know the meaning of the word. They're still holding a grudge because I left them, you see. They don't like it when people leave them. It makes them look ineffectual. Say, do you happen to know whether anyone else knows I'm here? The note I found implied that nobody else had been able to find you. That is excellent news. Hopefully, it will be the last we hear of them. Now, what's it going to take for you to keep this quiet, hmm? I just want to make sure you're not a threat to the safety of the city. Oh, how noble of you. <sighs> I've admitted it. I worked for the Dark Brotherhood, and I was very good at what I did. But I'm quite comfortable here, as you can see. What would be my motivation to kill anyone now? I'd need some kind of death wish. Now, was there something else you wanted to ask me? Or can I get back to enjoying my retirement? I'll be going now. You do that. 
Okay. So, my question is... Can I wait for Metellus to go into that room where there's no laws, where the statue is broken, and kill him there? Because that would be very interesting. That would probably be the solution to my whole fucking scheme, is if I can get him in there. But, oh. But that would create a paradox. I can't have him killed. I can't have him killed. But saving the city in general would create a paradox, right? Who the hell is this? Oh, you're, uh... Dwamora? My father told me what you did to those looters. He says you're dangerous. What's your story? Well, as you know, the Jarl is my father. Or, at least, oh. that's what he tells people. What he doesn't tell anyone is that I'm adopted. And the worst part is, I don't even know why he adopted me in the first place. I mean, he doesn't seem to care about me at all. Sometimes I feel more like his prisoner than his daughter. If we weren't trapped in here, I'd run away in a heartbeat. Your father sounds, sounds very controlling. He really is. He's always telling everyone what to do. I don't know how everyone puts up with him. Did you know he calls this place his citadel? And he and his friends don't do any work. Everything gets done by the people down in the city. He'll probably try to make you work for him too. But don't just do whatever he says. People around here should really learn to stand up to him. Do you know way out of here? You know my father would be upset to hear you ask that. I love it. Me, I'm not even allowed out of the Citadel. I'm so bored. Father doesn't want me mixing with the common folk. He's all, why don't you read one of the books Gaia brought you? Books. I'm almost 18. I want to have fun, like, like normal girls my age. Or do anything to take my mind off where I am. I thought about getting one of those awful Nord tattoos. Father would hate that. <laughs> but then that bitch Asanji told me about her skooma habit. I don't want to drink it. Oh. Oh, but if I get some, I just know I could get that junkie to spill her guts about everyone in this place. No, I'm not getting you skooma. How about this? You find me some skooma, or I tell my father you were spying on me while I was in the bar. I'll see what I can do. Great. Fuck. I wouldn't Fucking little know where bitch. To start looking, but there's got to be a stash or a recipe somewhere in the city. Come back as quick as you can. Shut the fuck up. Well, that was a waste of conversation. Hmm. What if I just open this gate? What if I just leave this gate open? Oh, it closes automatically. That's stupid. Okay. Well, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot more thinking on this. But I'm gonna call it there for this episode. This is... Such a good fucking quest, dude. It's hurting my head. It's hurting my head thinking of all these threads, all these opportunities, and... Oh, damn, it's so good. No wonder they made a full fucking game out of this. This is so good! Oh, but enough gushing. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... Plot got really, 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 really thick last, uh, last episode. And today we're going to be pulling on some strings. I've been thinking a lot. I've been reading a little on the wiki just because I was feeling a little stuck. But there's some things we can do. So let's go back down into the city and let's finish exploring the houses. We're allowed to break into the houses, so... Uh, that is the simplest way of doing it. I forgot I can probably exit any one of these, yeah. And just jump off, my bad. 
but I've also read that, uh, so we're going to be finishing looking at these houses, but then I also read that you can use the time loop a second time. So say if you break it, break continuity, go back in time to your original time, and then you can still jump through that portal. That might work for some things like uh, killing someone with that dwarven armor. But. Okay, have we checked? Whose house have we checked? Gulliver's? I probably should have checked what time it is. Oh, yeah, this is the one where it's his axe. That's right, we could probably take that and plant it on someone. Probably not, though. Doesn't really matter. Don't want to, for sure. Uh, let's... T... Because they're all going to be in their houses, so, uh, which I don't want. Okay, there we go. Everybody's out and about. We checked this house, I believe. Yeah, I believe there was nothing in here. Noise of Skyrim. Yeah, this one was clean, I believe. Pretty much just going to be recapping them all. What we've done so far. This one I definitely know that we've done because he's... Uh... Oh, hello, sir. I'm going to have to take that from you one day. Uh, we did search that building. We haven't searched this building. This is Vernon's house. Anything out of the ordinary here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. He wasn't a huge suspect in my mind anyway. He was kind of getting bullied. So we searched his place. Let's search this place. Ah, this is the couple's house. Okay. Looks like they have their own separate bedroom. Neat. A lot of bread. They have a third bed? Why would they need a third bed? That's a bit of a suspicion. Are they a thruple? Is there a thruple? Or do they have a kid? Who knows? Moving on. This is the Golden Sentinel Tavern. We actually have not been here. I forgot about the ta tavern completely. She said during the nighttime, that's pretty much where everyone is. Well, it's a pretty big pub, so... That's good. Have the high table. Okay. Nothing major here, it seems. Just some stoves for cooking. Cups ale. Potato moonshine. Cool. I don't think I'm going to be following, finding anything in here. Neat little place, though. So then, what's next on the list? This house is whose? Brandass. I don't remember a Brandass. Yo. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, Brandis's will. Uh, make this will. I leave all my worldly possessions, including my immaculate dwarven boots, to whoever is willing to continue my mission to rid this place of the evil that lies buried beneath the city. May Cinder's blessing protect you. Oh, oh, there they are. Dwarven immaculate boots. It looks like he's... You there. Come over here. 
Oh, he's alive still. What? That doesn't matter now. I don't have much time. I just need you to listen to me. The others all think I'm mad. What do you want to tell me? Stendar. He plants these images in my head. He shows me secrets. Made me come here. What did you see? Something terrifying. Deep in the earth beneath the city. Powerful. And evil. I went down into the tunnels to destroy it. But really? the energy... It seeps into your bones. Please. Please, you must find a way to get down there. And finish what I... I... <laughs> oh. Oof. Head bandages. Give me that Lamau. I'm carrying too much and I cannot run. Stash materials. Okay, that gave us plenty. Okay, yeah, that gave us like 50... 59 pounds. Well, now we've got a whole other... thing. To look at. So, we have the boots, we have the helmet. We saw the gloves in there. I'm gonna go check that out again because... I... heard something through the grapevine about that place. So we're gonna go follow up on that. And then I think we'll leave Rikard for last. Okay. Now, sorry, I took a drink. Someone said that these coffins are surprisingly stackable. Fuck me. I fucked it right at the end. Oh my god, I fucking did it. Holy shit, took me half an hour, but I fucking got it. Now the dwarven gloves. Now we can explore this place, finally. Hold on, let me fucking get my goddamn timer back since it fucking locked my phone. I was doing that so long. Okay, well that's a problem. Oh, hello everyone. Cursed horror or charred horror. Let's char you up some more, baby. Is that just an impotent pool of you guys? You'd think that water would have helped you. Why are you just hitting Wanathan? Stop it. He's your brother. Leave your brother alone. Master unlock, eh? We'll check that out in a second. Can you stop? There's more things to fight over here. Burnt horror. Another charred corpse. Okay, and there's another thing. Is there anything in there? Just a soul gem. Just a dagger. Just a book, it looks like. 
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do from here. Take those. I forgot that that does not give me... Uh, oops. XP. So unlocking those is all good. Take that soul gem. See if I want to take this dagger. Nope. Oh, you've got a phantom bow. That's cool. Let's go back. Let's explore the... Um, first thing over here. This master lock. Give me one second. Got it. Time to end your foolish array. Okay, the we all stop fighting. Comes for us all. Okay, Wanathan, I'm putting you in your Pokeball for now. Your life ends here. I don't know why y'all are aggro to each other, but no longer. Okay. Now that you've had your time out, are we cool? Lady, gentlemen, let's go upstairs. Let's see what's hiding up here. Another chest. Glass armor of conquest. That sounds sick as fuck. Take up to 18% less damage from enemy attacks the further their health falls below 50%. Interesting. Display case. Dwarven dagger of freezing. Don't need it. Oh, goody. Or enemies. And another... No way. Oh my god. Brilliant. Yeah, here he comes. Why am I just running in a straight line? You really gonna fight me barehanded, bro? Burnt handed, bro? Alright, let's check over here first. That guy was okay. I get to pick all these locks for fun. Take scroll of calm. Yes, lock picking experience for the win, dude. Take that, whatever that is. Oops. Cool. Just gonna be unlocking all the things. Really? Take all the scrolls. Now let's search. Okay. There's an upstairs, there's there. There's more things to follow up on over here. These are not locked, any of them. The hell is that? Dwarven arrow. Okay. Master unlock. Okay. And there's more up there place is huge. I'm assuming this goes back down to the other pathway we saw. Oh, well. You are not welcome here. Cool. Okay. And then wasn't there one over here that was down? Yeah, this one went down. Let's check out the down first. Okay, got him. Okay, bats. We got a maze of bullshit. Does some does someone live among the dead? Okay. Hello. There you are. Cool. Sleep 
I hope there's something at the end of this tunnel. Okay. Interesting. Okay, there's a big fire in the middle of the room. Read Necromancer's journal. Oh. Show the book to Brawl as proof the dwarves' law is real. Take that. Okay. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me, your big spider. Ah, and a master chest? Adapt chest. Good enough. Got it. Is there anything in here I actually need? No. Okay. Excuse me, you're spooky. And then we can hopefully just jump over this right back to it, eh? All right, so now we've explored everything there is to explore down in the dungeon. It's time to go back up. And then we'll see what's at the top of this place. Okay. There, okay, those were closed. Then there was this over here. Looks like some sort of prayer thing. Okay, seven septum. Uh oh. Fight going on in here. Damn, you probably would have been super scary to me had I not put off this quest for Aeon eons. Okay, there he is. That works. Okay, cool. So let's go up. See what's up here. Excavation site. Dink, 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 dink. Drink, 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 drink. Okay, burnt corpse. I have no idea what this fucking thing does. Oh, it hurts like fuck though. What did that say? Strange energy radiates all around you. Okay, so that's... Same thing. I guess that's the laws. Okay, weird. There's a chest that requires a key! Ah, you just had to sit in it and that released the key It released the chest. Well, this was a whole lot of nothing. I did get the gloves and quite a few other fun stuff. So we're going to head back out. Uh, well, I'm going to try to head back out. I actually don't know how to get out of here. Can I go through the way I came? Oh, oh excuse me. Can I go through the way I came? I don't even know. Or is there something down here I can go through? Yeah, it looks like, uh, this looks pretty blocked off, chief. Well, that's no good. Now I gotta find a way out of this place. Hey, uh-oh.
Oh, this is a new chest. Yo. Master unlock again. Okay, this goes even higher. Okay, good to know. And there's the exit. But I still have more stuff to loot, so hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. What does that give me? Dwarven Whip of Scorching. Oh, another Dwarven excavation site? I wonder if those reset after like a couple of days or something. This looks like a very nice eatery. That's blocked off for some reason. Master unlock. Blood everywhere. Display case. Expert. Okay. Bow of ire. Target is consumed by ammer. Anger. Taking seven points of damage. Magic damage for ten seconds until the... Oh, until it attacks or casts a spell. That's weird. But okay, here's another master lock that we can unlock. Ah, oh, this is going to take a second. Okay. Now, does this go somewhere different? Because it says the Forgotten City and the other one was over there. Okay. No, it looks like this was just the regular other place to get out from. So I'm assuming we're supposed to jump down into the water, but I kind of want to see. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're going to go wee all the way home. And then I thinking we're going to kill Riker. Rikus? I want to kill Rikus. So should I probably do it in his house? See if he's home and do it there so that none of the others get mad at me. But if I do this and I get sent to my old timeline, I believe there was a way to use the uh, thing again. Yeah, here he is. Is my fucking penis poker not charged? No, it's not. Deuce. Okay. It super, super was. Unable to run. Okay, so now we're going to... Ah, damn. I can drop that. How much weight am I over by? Four? Four weight? I have the Immaculate set now. That's good. I don't need those. Nordic Gauntlets I need. Wreck of Rose I don't. All right, well, seems I'm good to go. Now, now that everyone's gonna die. All the living shall fear the dead. Now, said, yeah, follow him to him making the portal. Yeah, everyone's gonna die. He's gonna run in here. He's gonna make the portal. And then I'm gonna be able to go use the portal to go back in time and keep my items, I believe. Yeah, he's gonna write that down. 
use this portal All again. The living shall fear the dead. Strange door. You must stop this from happening. Soon you will know the cold of death. Wait, who's there? The endless sleep comes for us all. Okay, well. Okay, that should be good. Eternal slumber. Now we're gonna use the strange door again and go back in time. Okay, and he should have cost me again, right? You there? Where did you come from? I just arrived. Strange. It looks like you just came out of the Yarl's private lake house. <laughs> yeah, I got lost. Well, just make sure you don't get lost in anyone else's home. Live by our laws here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Okay. We they know this. I'm going to be skipping through this. Follow me. Ah. Okay. No, so we're back. Please don't walk away from me. Uh, I did the opening again, where he walks us and introduces us to Security Arl. But this lady, I'm pretty sure, wanted to know about the Immaculate Dwarven we, armor we have. Are you kidding? Why would I Any help with your research? There's a big Nord. I need that armor. The trouble is, before I... I've tried... The only thing I haven't tried is violence. Do you mean this you armor? Oh my! You've got it already? That's... That is amazing! How did you... No, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Now let's see here. What can you tell me I about it? I confirmed my suspicion that this armor will help you withstand the harmful energy down in the tunnels. But I'm afraid it won't be enough. You'll need a full set of it. Hand, gauntlets, and boots. If you're going to get down there and really explore, I'm afraid I won't even know where to begin looking. But perhaps Bro will know more about the whereabouts of the other pieces. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter because we have them all. Which is cool. So now we are going to go down into the deeps and see what's ticking in there. Okay, we're finally here. I had to uh, kill those looters again, which I totally forgot about. Okay, finally down in the depths. Let's uh, put on all that armor. We look nice and snazzy with a little bit of blood on us. Okay. The helmet's not here anymore, eh? Interesting. Hey, okay, strain radiate. And I got the radiation existence. What the fuck is that thing? Magic anomaly? Okay. Cool. Gold ore. Awesome. Boy, I do feel heavy at this fucking place. Or in this armor. Oh, noble. I'll take that. Alright. Neat. Oh, more chickens. Okay, got a soul gem out of that. Two of them. Is that mushrooms? Yeah, don't matter. Is that mushrooms? Yeah, don't matter. Let's keep going. Keep going down, down, down. God damn it, more of these fucking things. Okay. 
our soul gems. I feel super slow in this armor. Ooh, an excavation site. Cool, cool. Okay. Now let's see here. This probably means that it's towards the end, right? Yeah, we got that big glowy bit. Oh, and a door, it seems. Enter Dwarven Dome. Okay, hello? Hello? Oh, this looks sick as fuck. The ah, Arbiter. And here you are. I've been waiting for you, Dova King. You know who I am? Of course. To me, your memories are an open tome. To begin with, I know you have trespassed countless times against others of your kind. Lucky guess. And I know you are a brazen thief, compulsively stealing from your own kind, without remorse or restraint. <laughs> Lie. Is that all? I know you have harvested the souls of the Dover, hoarding them, twisting them into an unnatural weapon against your enemies. All right, you got me. I also know you have come from the future. And why is that? Is your desire for power so great that you would break even the laws of time for it? It makes no difference. You will not take it from me. You would not be so foolish as to break my law. Actually, I'm not interested in your power. I see the kind of person you are. My law is the only thing keeping you and your kind from descending into chaos. You mean the dwarves law? I mean my law. I made it because your kind would be incapable of order, of peace, without it. So that would make you... That makes me the Arbiter. I am also the Founder. I discovered this site millennia ago, and the deposit of Ethereum beneath us. I laid the foundations, and I watched my children grow and learn and use the Ethereum to create marvels, technological wonders. But they grew quarrelsome and used their knowledge to create weapons to use against their own kind and worse, their own father. So I confiscated their weapons and declared my law that each and every one of my children would live in perfect order, or they would not live at all. And here I am, millennia later, still waiting for children worthy of this city. And for my patience, it seems my reward is a visit from you, Dovahkiin. Well, why have you traveled through time to come here? What is it you seek? Actually, I have some questions for you. Enough talk. It's time for you to die. It's time to put it into your law. Metellus's crimes have escaped your sight. Speak plainly. What crimes has this self-proclaimed Jarl committed? Metellus is keeping a woman prisoner in a citadel where you can't see it. I see you believe what you are saying. It seems my misgivings about your kind were justified. Ah, oh, fuck. He and his subjects must all be purged. Now, well... 
While I commend your honesty, I am afraid you too must be punished. For my law must be upheld. Goodbye, Dover King. Oh shit, a boss fight? Shit. Alright. Arbiter's helmet. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Okay, so that didn't go as planned. So now I think we're going to do another time loop. And we're going to try to persuade him to let his laws go. That seems like the, the best option. But it's good to know that it's a boss fight. Pretty cool. I probably maybe shouldn't have said that thing about the, the guy. But if we... If we're able to persuade him to take his laws down and then we then uh tell the people about the yarl maybe interesting very interesting we'll see how it goes can you put your fucking spear away please thank you now what does the arbiter's helmet do the arbiter's helmet Allows the wearer to cast continuous shock spells effortlessly, but the power is blinding. That's weird. I'll have to uh, save my game and check that out. Well. Okay, so round three. I think for now we're not gonna. You there? Where did you come from? You Where know, we've you had talk? this conversation before. I've never met you. You're right, my mistake. Um, you're a strange one, aren't you? Now, are you going to tell me why it looked like you just came out of the yard's private... There's a time robot? portal in there. Oh, I see. You're a little bit crazy. Well, you're in good company here, my friend. Lots of us were thinking... Seriously, what is today's the date? first day of last seed, I believe. What year? I guess you hit your head pretty hard coming down the shaft, huh? It's the 194th year of the Fourth Era, of course. Look, you seem a little... You know. So I'll make this nice and simple for you. Live but by our laws, will be just fine with your laws. You okay. Oh, no, thanks. I'll make my own way. And if you have any questions about this place, I'd talk to Bro okay. the Scholar. You seem to know a lot about now we go back inside and tell him to stop. All right, I'm back, you big bitch. You know who I am. Lucky guess. What's this? It's your helmet. I'm gonna kill you. Take it from you after. Uh uh. Does not belong to you. It's. Uh, that's definitely not true. Liar. Huh? <laughs> Is that all? I know you have harvested the souls of the Dover. All right, you got me. I, it makes no difference. You mean the dwarves' I laws? My law. I made it because you. So that would make you the arbiter, me. founder. Yeah. I laid the foundations, and I watched my children grow. But, so, and, well, why have you traveled through time to come here? What is it you seek? I have some questions for you. Ah, if only you could read my memories as I read yours. 
Very well. Ask your questions. So you're willing to... So you're the one killing all these people. How long have you been down here? That's all the question I have. How long how have you survived this long? What happened to the rest of the Dwemer people? Ooh. It is not my place to reveal that. Come on, to dude. You, Dover King. But when they moved on from this world, I was left behind. You see, the energy that has sustained me all this time, it anchored me here. I could not leave this place if I wanted to. Say so the one killing all these people. You flock here, your kind, like moths to a flame, driven by greed and the lust for power. You are warned about my law, and when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing death upon yourselves. So you ask if I am the one killing your kind, and I say no, you kill yourselves. Fair enough. I am merely the means by which you do it. <laughs> okay. How have you survived all this time? You wish to be ageless like me. No, I'm just truth, curious. Time passes differently in here. It would take an eternity just to explain it to you. How long have you been down here? Two thousand years in your terms. But time is different down here. I count time in waves, generations, civilizations. You and your kind up above are number 322. Okay, well that's all the questions I had. So I see. Now, state your purpose here. We are gonna try to persuade this guy. It's time to put an end to your law. Your words are tainted by your sins, Dovahkiin. Yet, I acknowledge your heroic deeds too, Slayer of the Treacherous and Kano. Very well, I will listen. Like you, I tried to fix what didn't I didn't understand and made it worse. Choose your next words carefully, Dovahkiin. What is it that you made worse? I tried to prevent the breach of the dwarves' laws, but in the end, I was the breach. Enough talk time to die. Actually, your law made everything worse. I blame you. No, you we're gonna take to responsibility. In the future, at least this explains why you traveled back in time. I was so focused on my bigger goal that I didn't see the bigger picture like you. I warn you, tread carefully. You become so fixated on peace and order that you've committed genocide. Everything I have done here, everything I have done, has been, has been, I, I. It's not too late to end this. I. No, I will not be talked into abandoning millennia of work by the likes of you. God damn it. I think it is time I silenced you. Damn it. Once and for all. Of course. Liar. And you kill me. That is not possible. And yet, I see you speak the truth. You have come unstuck from your own time. Your presence here is unnatural, Dovahkiin. Why have you returned with this grim trophy? Have you come simply to gloat of your foul deed? I want to put a stop to the dwarves' law. Do you comprehend what you are 
asking me to do? You, you are asking me to abandon millennia of work. The very thought of it aggrieves me, and yet, you have left me with no choice, have you? If I agree, I will destroy my life's work. But if I refuse, you will destroy me. Well played, Dovakin. You will have your wish. So you'll stop all this? I will stop. From this point forward, your kind will be free to live how they choose. In whatever chaos and squalor they create for themselves, I will destroy this Ethereum to ensure your kind can never exploit it. And you may all return to the world of man, should you wish. But I warn you, Dovahkiin, making these changes will create a paradox in time. The events that brought you here will never have taken place. What will become of you is difficult to predict. But that is the risk you have taken by interfering with the past. Now, are you ready? I'm ready to go. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, Dovahkiin. Okay, we're back. Altrius. Hey, you started me there. Wait. I know you. You do? You're... No, that can't be right. For a moment there, I thought you were... You know, the one the statue was meant to honor. You're Altris, your sisters asked me to find you. Cassia! Oh, I completely forgot. I asked her to wait for me at the top of the lift and... I guess I got so tied up in this place that I lost track of time. I'd better head back up and let her know I'm alright. Hey, um... Do you want to come with me? We can chat along the way. Alright, lead the way. Great. Follow me. Let's run back up, shall we? Don't want to keep my sister waiting any longer. Wow, you so built a statue for me. i wondering what I've been doing down here. I guess it's been... what? A few days. I'll be honest. I came down here looking for a hall I could unload on the next merchant I met. I just wasn't expecting to find a thriving city. And the history of this place is amazing. Did you know that up until about seven years ago, they had what they called the Dwarves Law? Apparently there were inscriptions warning that if one person committed a crime, everyone else would pay for it. But they were all trapped in the city with no way out, so they lived in fear that someone would break the law and get them all killed. Then, one day, a strange man appeared in the city out of nowhere. They say he just walked out of the lake house, like he owned the place. And he wore this spectacular dwarven armor. A lot like the armor you're wearing now, actually. And a few people saw him walk into this quarry, into a field of deadly radiation, like it was nothing. Like it hadn't killed people before him. And then, the ground started shaking, and golden statues were collapsing, and inscriptions were crumbling all over the city, all at the same time. And the sun under the ground. Bursts in the flame and explodes. And strangest of all, the cavern roof opens up like the petals of a flower. And there's real sunlight for the first time in thousands of years. So of course, people start wondering, did he just walk down here and single-handedly dismantle whatever was keeping the dwarves all going? Who was he? Was he still alive? So Bro, the local scholar, goes down into the quarry to take a look. But now the whole place is empty, but all the way at the bottom, sitting alone in the darkness, is a statue of a stranger. Oddest tale I ever heard. 
Well, that's sick as fuck, dude. Honestly, holy shit. Is everyone alive too because of that? Did I get the goodest ending? Yo, look at that. Hey, I remember you. You're Olvar. Back after all this time. Have you been since the Dwarven Law was lifted? Can't complain, my friend. You know, not long after they executed Metallus, turns out he was behind Macy's disappearance. They made me Jarl. It was a bit of a shock, to be honest. But I guess they wanted someone who wasn't at all like Metellus. Jarl Galvar. Still sounds strange to me. And I guess I have you to thank for it. If you hadn't freed us from the Dwarves' laws, Ulrin could never have overthrown Metellus. So, thanks. I imagine you'll be moving on soon, but you'll always be welcome here. We even kept your chambers exactly as you left them. Cool. From Simple Potato Farmer. Oh, and there's children here now. Why? Rikus, Are you have you been since the door was all listened? Now that I know I'm not being watched anymore. Still, someone has to protect this place, and that someone is me. So you might have taken down some old dwarves or whatever. But if you start any trouble here, you're going to find yourself toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. Well, that's good. I kind of do want to follow up on everyone, but we can do that later. Oh, hello. City guard. Cool dwarven, dwarven armor and city guard. What? Okay, weird. The display cases are still closed. And now it's an elevator. Are you coming? Oh, okay. That's how we're playing it, eh? Okay, my bad. Thank the gods you're all right. What kept you so long? I know, I know. Sorry, Cass. I lost track of time again. It's just that this city is so amazing. You have to come down with me and see it for yourself. I promise. It's perfectly safe. Well, all right. But first, let me thank our friend. Thank you so much for bringing him back in one piece. I really thought I'd lost him. I can't thank you enough. You're welcome. Now, I promised you a reward. This is something I always carry with me, and it's become very dear to me. I'd like you to have it. Thanks again. My brother and I are in your debt. Wow. What a quest line. No fucking wonder they fucking made it into a whole other game. Jesus Christ. I'm going to call it there because I've been playing for like two hours <laughs> and I got to edit it down. But holy hell, what a good freaking quest. I love this quest. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Wanathan and Serana. Um, wherever they may be, I do not currently know where they are. I'm hoping that if I just fast travel somewhere, they'll come back to me. Someone said that they also lost their companions when doing that. So anyway, we completed the Forgotten City and it was super freaking good holy cow we're actually gonna go back in 
and talk to some people and see how oh yeah i still gotta do these master locks to get this stuff i'll do that real quick and i still am wearing the armor i totally forgot okay one down lock picking increased to 73 just a normal dwarven dagger okay okay two down just a normal bow Damn, they're all master, huh? Damn. 74 already. Golden ruby necklace. Is that the only thing that was in there? Okay. Okay. Flawless diamond and ruby. Cool. But anyway, now that that's done, we're actually going to go back into the Forgotten City and do a bit of an epilogue of sorts we're gonna be talking to everyone see how everything you know came about so i know we spoke to the new jarl there's a guard here but let's just go around and talk to everyone oh yeah we talked to you too didn't we what do you want yes that's right he is the lawbringer now dooley oh hello do you like my fancy new clothes I do like your fancy new cloche. Uh, have you been since the dwarves all lived me, in? After the sky opened up, and the old yard died, and we got a new yard. Yep. Yard got that is died. He gave me a house and and these new clothes. Oh, buddy. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Hello, child. Who the hell are yes. you? Yes. Anyway, let's see who's this over here. Oh, it's you two. Y'all probably got city, something to do. Uh, y'all, you smar. Welcome back. You've been gone a long time. Have I? It felt like seconds. No, nah, it's been a couple of days since I played this last. Well, let's see. That was seven years ago. Holy shit! I thought it was two days. Then, for the better. I'm married to Gulvar now. S sorry, that's Jarl Gulvar. Oh, he good for you. About you. And how he saw you come out of the old Jarl's lake house. You gave him a real fright, though he wouldn't have showed it. I know he'd be happy to see you again. You should go and say hello if you haven't. I already, already. have. That's some. I'll be, I'll be going you around, now. love. Yes, ma'am. Probably not, since we completed the quest and everything. I'm kind of done with this place, but goddamn, if it wasn't the fucking... One of the best experiences I've had in a while. Just racking my brain and everything. Uh, is it? What time is it? 2 p.m. Nobody should be asleep. Everyone should be out and about. So let's check out these shops. See if they got anything new in this seven years. <laughs> Imagine they don't. Oh, God, it's going to be funny. Hello. Kabik. Hello there. How you been? Boy. Much better. Thanks. This place has really turned around. I never did Miranda get your ring. I were finally able to have another son. He's probably around here. Somewhere. Oh, it's probably and the now kid. Now that the city has opened up, we have a bit of trade. So the store is doing much better too. And if you really are who I think Stop you changing are, levels. then I have to thank you for it. So, thank you. You did a great thing. For all of us. I did, didn't I? But See you have you nothing more to soon. say. Wait, do you have reward notice? Gold ring belongs to... Oh, shit. I never did find That's that ring for you. What do you got for sale? Finest clothes in town. Okay, cool. He's got a little bit of stuff, but... Not really anything I'm looking for. But then again, what am I looking for? I don't even know. I should take off this armor put back on my old stuff here i think that's everything you again soon uh, uh let me yeah 
It's the penis we all know and love. Okay, back out to town. I did take off uh, my necklace of Wanathan. Let me put that back on and see. Hey, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, big buddy. Let's go talk to Vernon, see how he did. Hopefully he's not dead. Hey, there he is. Oh, it's you. I didn't think we'd ever see you again. How you been? Oh, so much better. And thank you for whatever you did down there under the city. You know what? I don't even want to know. Everyone's a bit more relaxed, including poor old Rikus. He and I are... No! Well, we're seeing each other. Fucking Turns way. Out. He's a beautiful man once you get to know him. You know, well, it's great to see you again. I know you'll be off on your next adventure soon. Still, you'll always be welcome here, my friend. Damn, dude. Wouldn't have seen that coming. Yeah. Uh, typically, the people that are highly against it are the ones who are secretly closeted. So anyway, good for you, buddy. Funny he didn't mention that at all. But it makes sense. He's still kind of a dickhole. But you like dickholes, don't you? <laughs> that's a fucking horrible segment. Okay. Well, I think that's just about everyone. Let's go in here. The honest trader. I forgot who's here. There's still a ton of people that I haven't talked to. Ah, uh, hello, Deglin. Hey, you, you look kind of familiar. Do I now? Jesus Christ, Wanathan, you're glowing everywhere. How have you been? Business has picked up now that we occasionally get visitors from the outside world, but nobody seems to want to buy my elixirs anymore. Well, stop selling snake oil, dumbass. All right. See you again soon, my friend. See ya. I still have that potion, don't I? I should take it and see what happens. I wonder if it'll be anything worthwhile. Let me see here. Potion. Ah, huh. I don't actually think I do have it. Interesting. Oh, well. Definitely have to not do anything with that. Uh, I wonder if... Ooh, Wanathan? He's fine. Said he's unnatural. You're unnatural, you fuck. I think we will be speaking to anyone who's in the Citadel. And then after that, we will probably make our leave. I'll open up all these doors, see what's going on. Hello. No one. <laughs> oh, there's someone. Oh, are you just a guard? Just a city guard. Now, is this considered like any other old city? So that's pretty cool. I actually don't see anyone in here. Interesting. I wonder if anyone still lives here. Or if they're all out in the actual city now. Not segregated. Hello? No? Huh. Really seems like no one is here. Hello? Okay. I'll go up one more floor, but then I'm giving up. I think this is actually the top floor. Isn't it only three stories? I don't remember. Ah, yes. Yeah, looks like everyone's, uh... Not here, at least. Is that just a city guard just sitting at the... Okay. Oh, you know what? This is probably like their barracks now. It's not unnatural, and yes, he is dead, but he is still alive and well. Leave him alone. Leave one of it alone. Okay. 
Jesus Christ, the sun's bright as hell down here, huh? And that's still projecting light for some reason. Good thing I put back on my moon shoes. Oh, that would have been bad. Okay. Well, it was fun, guys. I had a great time. I don't know how exactly we're going to follow that up or, you know, even top it. Because, goddamn, it's a good one. But for now, we're just going to make our way out of here. I already did that one, right? Yeah, the light's not on. Oh, thank you. Open for me. Oh, Metchis, a Metchis, <laughs> a message from the developer, Nick Pierce. Hope you guys enjoyed the Forgotten City. I'd love to know what you thought about it. So please get in touch. You can find him as Twitter, Facebook. Oh, that's so nice. YouTube. Uh, P.S. The Forgotten City has many multiple endings. If you are not happy with one, try. <laughs> If you're not happy with the one you got, try. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Original orchestral score. Really? Damn. It sucks, but I'm like, I didn't notice it, but it, it makes sense. Oh, and here's all the cast. All right. Nice. Damn. Patrick really fucking did a bunch there, didn't he? Yes, I did. Thank you. Cast two of two. There's everyone. Nice, dude. Man, that's so fucking cool. I like that they put that there as a little message, like a thank you. For sure, definitely one of the better mods. Now, I don't know where Serana is, but hopefully when I fast travel, it will take me to her, or it'll take her to me. And I better get fast traveling quick, apparently. <laughs> so for now, let us... Hmm, where do we want to actually go? What is this? A return to... Oh, I need to return the, uh, the helmet. Okay. That's something we can do easily. Okay, we're home. Serana there? Hi, Serana. Welcome back. This is a little creepy. Keep away from me. Rude. Anyway. Oh, I have some mail, but I didn't check it. Oh, well. Hello, everyone. I am back. Oh. Good, good, good. Got some stuff waiting for me. Ah, there he is. Sorry, sir. I had a bit of trouble with, uh, I've been looking for like you. seven I years. Something I'm supposed to deliver. Your oh, only. okay. I guess, uh, he's more important. I'll, uh, wait my turn. Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Oh yeah. Looks I forgot like about it. that. I should go do that. Go. <coughs> do you have a question? Uh, I have dealt with the ghost hunting in the museum like a long time ago. Ah, yes, that was a bit of unsettling business now, wasn't it? I kept being awakened by strange voices in the museum and found that the pages of my books by my bed would be turning on their own and decided to call the aid of the priest of Arke. Yeah, that was a while ago, bro. Palace in the meantime. But still, that was a good quest, it. too. Also, I'm to understand that you paid out of pocket for the statue out front, which appeased the spirit. I'll reimburse you for that. Oh, yo! Yo, what the fuck? I have 100k. Let's go, bro. That's awesome. Thank you. I also found the Immaculate Dwarven Helmet. Ah, splendid. Nice find, my friend. Here's a little something for your efforts. I'll go ahead and display it. Cool. 400, 500 bucks. Well, we need to put some stuff away anyway, so why don't you give me a minute? Up to 844. Nice. It's quite a bit of displays. Time to go sell my shit. Another 7k in the bank. And we still have a ton of shit to sell. Oh, you know what? This elixir of acrobatics might be that potion that guy sold us earlier. 
Yeah, it's worth a thousand. That's what I paid for it. Okay, maybe we do still have it. Okay, well, I've done it. I've put everything away that I need to, pretty much. Uh, so next on our list, that was actually a great reminder. Let's go look at, I don't know if I can find it here, but there is the, uh, fuck, I keep fucking up my buttons. In Dawnstar, there is the uh, new museum that opened up. We should go check out our competition, I say. Also, I realized that the uh, the courier said that he's giving out flyers to... I'm sure of it. Okay, cool. Then I'll wait it out. Uh, <laughs> giving out flyers to travelers when... That dude just kind of stays at our museum, like, all the time. Not really, uh... Not really traveling. Though he does get word of a lot of stuff. Okay, so let's look at our local map here. Because now I'm smart and I can actually use this. So, fridge room, barracks. Is there something? There's two things right there, huh? Northern Star Good. Uh, Quick Silver Mine. Maybe we just haven't, like, discovered it yet? Oh, there's a missing board. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is going on here? Who the fuck's doing what? Oh, oh shit, vampires. Oh, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Dude, all these vampires are after me now. This bitch is tough as fuck. God damn. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Hey, rude. You okay? Orcish sword I need. Cool. Uh, Do I really need those claws? I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll take your seven bucks. Dumbass attacking me with seven dollars. No wonder they're attacking me. They need the fucking money. Okay. Well, cool. Hello, sir. This is the inn. That's right. There is the trading. Uh, star good. Northern star goods. That's what it's called. I forgot already. Let's see if they got anything good. Whoa, okay. Damn, that's a uh, tiny entrance you got there, my guy. Brilliant. Brilliant. Take a look. Okay. Well, look at all this crud. This certainly is a thing. What is that necklace of splendor? Heals living allies within 30 feet for 10 points per second. That'd be good if I didn't have Wanathan. Clairvoyance shows a path to the current goal. I'll buy that for 76 bucks. It's not bad. I wonder how that works with all these mods. <laughs> I doubt it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Yep. Later. Now, let me check real quick if I can find on my journal if there was a mission for the new, uh, for that thing opening up the museum. Okay, so it says it's here, but, uh, I just kind of have to go around to each building and find it, I guess. Oh, there's a blacksmith here. Is that you? No. How about a claymore? Do you do any work for ships? I I worked on a few moorings here and there for it. Most of the ship captains are superstitious about who works on their vessels, though. And Dawnstar is known for its bad luck. We're the last port of call before Windhelm, and the ore we trade makes rich targets for pirates. Mmm. Cool. Come back if you need steel. Now let's see here which one of these 
Is that a black hand? Like, uh... Oh, look at that. Yeah, I guess we just didn't, uh, look at ever Haven't been around enough. Hello, sir. You're just and standing here. here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Mythic Dawn? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Sounds good. Let's talk inside. Let's. Cool. Now, question is, do I want to help out Feel my competition? To look come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. This is your museum? The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment. On seeing the relics and banners of the Mythic, Mythic Dawn, you hear a voice of their dark master in the back of your head. Maroon Dagon? Is that how you pronounce that? Destru destruction, eh? Suffer mental torment while praying to gain extra favor. Slay people who stand in your way, defile shrines of my enemies. Those skilled in destruction are deserving of my favor. No, the thank you. Assassination of the Septim Dynasty. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to. That burned paper is all that remains of Oops. the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Huh. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. Nothing on that one. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Why did you open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. Mostly ill. <laughs> so what is this Mythic Dawn cult? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All and you're like the infamous cult, proud of that? I've gathered in my museum. Who's Mayrun's Dagon? Ah, an excellent question. Mayrun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change. Yeah, no, I got that much. And ambition. Dagon's mythic dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. They called it Elder Scrolls IV. Oblivion Crisis. Let's talk about that job you wanted me A to do. A little history first. After the Oblivion Ugh. Crisis, a number of groups I played that dedicated game. to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. Sounds like something that, that could go in my museum. Ago, I mean, I mean your museum. Kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. You want me to go get those fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Uh... I'll do it, but you better be willing to pay for my efforts. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. I want to know more about the razor. The razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. 
It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Or mine. Mwah. Good luck finding the fragments. Okay. Will do. Well, it seems like we've got a bit of a lead. Oh, wow. This place is beautiful when it's not fucking snowing like crazy. Now, what was this? Uh, what's this uh, hand over here? Is this anything important? What the hell is that? How is that not important? You know, let me just discover this. Dawnstar Sanctuary. Oh, the black door. Hey, we leveled up, baby. Let's actually go into magic. Get some more, uh, fire bolts or whatever. See, how is this nothing? This looks like a total fucking thing, don't it? Nope, I was completely wrong. <laughs> oh well. Anything in here? Nope. Those clams I see? Cool. Uh oh. Hello? Ow. You little shit. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> but cool. Uh, so the Dark Brotherhood's here. Can I do anything with this? The one where you saw Lady in Half <laughs> being happily married, dreams are reality, and reality is a dream. The one where you saw the Lady in Half? Oh well. I tried. Cool. Holy shit, there's so many fucking. So many slaughterfish in here. Okay. Well, let me go to my journal. Pieces of the past. Let's assemble Mayrune's razor. Where the hell are those going to be? I can actually. Uh, let's do this one map. Oh, it's in Morthal. OK, I'll be real with you. I don't even remember this city. Is that a place I can travel to from the caravan over here? We shall see. Was that Wanathan I just ran past? It looks like it. Well, I forgot I can swim faster than I can run. And then where the hell's the entrance? Hold up. Wait a minute. Over here? No, nope, that's the mine. Am I stupid? Probably. Dude, what the hell? Am I actually dumb? Oh, okay. Yeah, I am actually dumb. It's up here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I found it. Who are you? I don't like taking orders from a boy, but I need the gold. Can I have a sample of your blood? It's important. Not my problem. Okay. All right. Oh, well, hello, everyone. Now, you, sir. What is this fucking town called again? Morthal. Need something? I'd like Where to hire a carriage. 
the way. Ah, there we go. Marthal. Back we'll 60 bucks? Not bad. Morthal. Capital of the All March Hold. Not quite in the same league as Solitude or Life Run. But a nice enough place if you like swamps. That's cool. Thank you for the info. Okay. Holy hell. I don't remember this place at all. Oops, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons, too. Hello, sir. What the hell is this? High Moon Hall? Oh my god, this is going to be annoying. There's so many Nernroot. Okay. Don't I need these pods for something? Yeah, I need these for a quest, I believe. I need four of them or something. Okay. Well, the razor's this way. So why don't we head across the bridge here? That, uh, deer's having trouble. Hello, sir. Unless it's about the meal. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. I'm looking for a piece of the I don't razor. Know what you're talking about, stranger. Really? That dude said otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic dawn. Guess they were true. Mythic. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. Yeah, I'll pay you for it. The vines know the mill could use some new blades. All right, it's yours. Here's the keys. It's locked in the chest inside my house. Cool. Good okay. Game. Have fun. <laughs> that was simple. I don't know why I did that. Well, one down, pretty much. Yep. I'll take the other shit in there, too, just because you were being an asshole. Okay. Well, one down, two to go. Easy pickings. Let's see here. Now, this I'll have to come back to. But for now, let's go get... Ah, oh, this is in the middle of fucking nowhere. Cracked Tusk Keep. Go to Falkreath to get that. Where is this other one at? This one is all the way here at Dead Crone Rock and Mark Arth. Well, uh, looks like this will be the easier one. So let's go to the Hall of the Dead. Okay. Holy shit. Chugging along. Now... Which way? I am heading to the right one. It is the one on the left. Let's just go until we find something, I guess. Uh, hello. Something. What? Where the fuck? Damn, you can teleport, dude? That's awesome. Every fucking hit you teleport, eh? Fucking bitch, I can hear your bees. Ow. Oh, there's multiple of you fuckers. Well, this actually kind of fucking sucks. Do I have to one shot these dudes or else they won't die? Mask of the Woods. What is that? Yo, that's cool. Nearby enemy creatures and people up to level 5 th flee from combat. Well, that's a little too fucking late for that, eh? I 
am actually going to wait here until it is daytime because I want to walk around in the daytime. Maybe? Okay. Okay. Looks like there's a path up here. I will see you when I get there. Hello, Fox. And I think that's actually it right there. Super easy. I like this white fox. He's cool. How are you? Uh-oh. Someone's here. Hello, sir. You're an orc hunter? Yeah, fuck you. Oh, look out! <laughs> Sick. Ow. Hello, everyone. Time to end this little Whoop! Pa! Come here, come ha, dude! Look at that shit. That's so cool. Are you a bad guy? Oh, you're level 30. All these other guys are level fucking five, bro. And he was just talking about paying off his fucking debt. Oh, harvest blood. I needed that. Thank you. Do I need an iron whip? I sure don't. Light armor farging? Farging. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's check to see if any of these other guys have some good stuff on them. Or if I need their blood. Venture backpack bear pelt. I don't have orcish scaled gauntlets? Really? Interesting. Dude, these guys have a fuck ton of stuff on them. Okay. All right, let's go inside and look for the razor. I sense presence. Ow! Holy shit, he murked me. It fucked me, Lamau. Death comes for you now. Is that it? Just two of them? Cool. Okay. Wooden door. Huh? Hello, sir. Time to end this. Oh, you're a tanky boy, eh? That's all you got. Oh, you're dead, dead. Look at you. Get fucked. Who the hell is this? Oh, you brought him back to life? Bit of necromancy, eh? Got the vault key. 200 bucks, not bad. Oh, there's another vault key. Holy shit, he's got a bookcase. Let me look through all this. See if I need any of this. Ultimate healing. Will you shut up, dude? Now, where the fuck is this? It's outside. I wonder if it's up top here. We're gonna go up here just to see. Okay, is it up here? Is it back down there? Huh. It says it's still back down there. Whoa. Oh, you know what? It was probably not... Yeah. Uh, okay. It was doing that other quest marker, which is why I was saying it was back outside. Okay, my bad. 
Let's uh, explore more of this thing then. Ah, okay. Goes deeper in, I see. Cage unlock. Hey, there you go. Button. Easy. Okay. Now, is this going to be a big ass fucking thing? Yeah, it looks like it. Never mind. Whoa. Haha. -ha. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot I could trip on those. Damn it. <laughs> God, I'm fumbling all around. I just want this fucking stupid thing. Oh. Ow. Oh, that's poison. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that fucking hurts so bad. More ultimate healing and ruined books. Okay, I, I don't understand why I'm tripping on the tripwires when I'm not tripping. I'm just fumbling all around, eh? Why don't I go right here? Ha ha, bitch! Now I got the blade, baby! There's still, like, stuff in there, but I don't see... Oh, the button's right next to the fucking thing on the wall, eh? Some ruined books, which is always good. Some soul gems and some potions. Nice. Okay. What about this one? Anything cool in here for me? Doesn't look like it. Orcish plate helmet. I guess I didn't have that, actually. What is that? Light armor increased. Excellent. Okay. Well, we got that shit done. Okay, back outside. I am going to call it there for today. Uh, not really the, the grand adventure, you know, like the last mod, but uh, still pretty good. Pretty fun stuff. Next time, we're going to definitely get the last piece of this razor. And then head back and, you know, uh, maybe not give it to him. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. A um, little bit of uh, museum espionage, if you will. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tardy Penis. Edwanathan. Wherever that girl went off to. I didn't even... She was just here, I swear to God. Anyway, last time we started this uh, little espionage quest. It's not really an espionage quest, but it is for my purposes. And we are on the lookout for the last piece of Mayrune's razor. And I think... It looks like I can go to this Forgotten Ruins and then go up somewhere. There's probably a path somewhere. But we're going to start with that. Okay, here we are. Um, where the hell is here, actually? Water? Oh. Oh. The hell? It looked like night for a second there. But okay. We are here. Where is... Uh, it's right up here. And it does look like there's a clear enough path. Shut up, goat. Stupid goat. Hag rock. Really? Okay. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, a little recap for last time. We started that quest and are on our way to claim Mayrune's dagger. Dagger? Alteration increased. That means there's a fight up ahead. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse you. Who the hell are you? 
Forsworn Ranger? Ravager. You know I'm hiding. I'm actively killing you. No! Absolutely not. You shot at me. Thank you. Forsworn bow? I don't know. I'm just ow, you dick. Yeah, that's one down. There's another. Where's the, uh... There's more arrows coming from somewhere up ahead. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Fucker. Oh. Ow. Ooh, that one hurt. That one hurt quite a bit. Okay, well, we got two left. Shouldn't really take that much to kill that guy. And then you. I'm gonna have to kill you. Don't worry, I got him. Ow, he got me. Get him, Serana. Go get him. You got this. Oh, shit. I almost died from that, probably. Holy crap, just die, my guy. Is there more? What the hell is that? Oh my god, it fucking... Killed me real quick. Holy crap. What was that? Was that it? I think there was more. I don't really know, though. I'm trying my hand at a bit of... Archer sneakery. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't see anyone else. I didn't fight that big monster, though. I don't know what the hell that was about. I'll probably find it in a second here. But we're back. And we're better than ever. Oh, there you go. Whoop. Yep. Your sword's pretty cool. I do like your sword. Too bad it's got shit defense. That the best you can do? Yeah, I'm kind of kicking your ass. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, there it is. Death wish, then? Come. Come and face the Forsworn. Oh. Okay, well that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Boom! It fucked. This thing's cool. Daedra Heart, too. Wow. Yeah, their swords are pretty cool. Who the hell is this? A wood elf. I need to harvest your blood. Thank you very much. I'll take all that. Now, it says that it's further down, but... It also doesn't say it's indoors. I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna go up here and find out, though. Here it is. It's probably in here. Dead prone rock. It's probably like you have to go inside to get up higher to come out on the other side. Don't know. We'll follow the path. See what's up. Unless the path is just nothing. Oh, it never mind. Hang on. Who's there? Here we go. Cool. Elven light boots, eh? I don't think I've seen those before. Let me just take a look, see. I have all this forsworn stuff that I don't need. Am I fucking blind? I am. Ooh. Oh, they look snazzy. Anyway. Well, you can go meet your brother now. As fucked up as that is. Superior bow. Yeah, I really don't need any, all of this stuff. These guys are level 8. I think I'm fine, except for that one thing that just one-shot me, but... Really? Don't 
don't you heal, bastard. Oh my god, get fucked. Neat. I'll take some of these potions, though, even though I'm not really using them as I should be. I kind of just bought that freaking that infinite healing and now I'm like oh. ow okay and point and proven oh. okay why am I dying why am I dead hang on over here <laughs> Dude just killed his own man. And then he couldn't touch me. Cool. Okay, so I can come up and take this. That hurts a fuck ton. Well, what did I trigger here exactly is my question. Is there a thing on the ground yeah it looks like there's a thing on the ground yeet and then i duck okay cool i didn't know what the hell was gonna happen there some soul gems what is that game of dinner a game at dinner okay and this probably opens up that cool cool why am i stuck here Jonathan? Fuck out of my way. Yep. Okay. Sarana's having some trouble there. Let's save it now that we've gotten this far. Just because these guys are level five, but goddamn if they're not kicking my ass sometimes. Excuse me. Did we come out on top? Was I correct? We seem to be outside. I sense a presence. Death comes for you now. It sure does. Cleared it out. That's good to see. But question is. Again, Wanathan, get the fuck out of my way. Oh, that's not even Wanathan. That's Gloom Wraith. Come on now. There we go. You there. Won't take my eye, mad thing. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, it's uh one of these bitches. Holy shit, I'm actually halfway dead. You can do it. Yeah, you got them. Let's take these fucking crystals out here. Y'all are pissing me off. Does someone live? Do I have to get close to this thing for it to trigger? Ooh, another dragon slur. Let's go do what we learned. Dismay. Y'all picking a fight with a dude in a cage? Holy shit, this guy is impossible. Well, fuck that. I ain't fucking around with that no more. Did get the pommel. Got that. Punch of other shit. Oh, look at that. Never seen that before. But, uh... Yeah. Cool. Got the pommel. Now it's time to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, another unusual gem, eh? Interesting. I need to go find where to what to do with those. So it's probably not gonna let me fast travel with that dickhead in there. So let's fly our way down and see what happens next on the adventures of Tartipinus. Okay, and we're back here. Ooh, very pretty. I love whatever is doing this to this guy because I do not. Everybody's talking at once. Jesus Christ. We are here to go back to the museum. I don't know if I'll have to wait until it is daytime in order to turn in my quest. I'm sure he won't mind if we come back at like midnight or whatever time this is, 4 a.m. and say, hey, we got the, uh, 
all the dagger pieces. And we'll see if we need to kill him or not. To stop another cult from popping up. Alright, dude, I'm back. You're not in bed, so... What is it? Do you have one of the razor fragments? I have all the pieces. All at once. You're efficient. I like that. Here's your 3600, not bad. Finally, all the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. There's a fourth Here we go. piece that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor, and there's more. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. You think he'll repair the dagger? Ever since I was a boy, I felt this strange sense of destiny surrounding the mythic Dawn cult. And now I know what it is. Don't you see? Fate has led you to me and to the pieces. Dagon has to answer our call. We're so close. I'll meet you at the shrine. Hmm. We'll play along for now. Not I'll meet you at the shrine. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to exit your fucking house, idiot. We'll play along, but maybe, hopefully, it doesn't actually. Oh, okay. I'll go to Dim Hollow Crypt and climb the mountain. Okay, it looks like there's a little path up to it. Oh, there's a dragon symbol. Hate that. Don't like that one none bit. See you when I get there. Oh, there is a little path. Okay, good. It's probably where we need to go. Seems like it. Just gotta go up the stairs a little. Ah, uh, more stairs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Gotta love stairs in the mountainside. That always makes me feel good. secure. You're here. I'll place the pieces on the altar and good. You're here. I'll place the pieces on the altar, and Dagon should- Merun's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought if I just razor blip, blip, blip. We beg you, please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. But why don't you give it a try? Just put your hands on the altar. Okay, you, dude. Mortal. You are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. He helped me find the pieces he deserves to Only live. Dagon can declare if a pawn is worth keeping. I have spoken. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. Yikes. We've uh, got a Wait, bit of a predicament. Don't kill me. There's another way. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. Well, I'll be real with you, pal. I'm going to get rid of my competition right here. Fine. I'm not dying without a fight. That's totally okay with me, go. dude. Dead You're fucking level disturbed. 30. It's nothing. And I get your robes and shit. Let me see here. The beef. I don't know why the fuck he had any of this on. He wasn't even wearing any of this. Magicka regenerates 50% faster. Take that. Okay. I did what you said. <laughs> I am pleased, mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. I will use the razor as I see fit. Spare me your pitiful pride. You are but a tool of my ambitions, mortal. Never forget that. I am Place tardy your penis. Hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Mayrun's Dagon for yourself. 
Reforge the thingy. Yo, that's sick. Take it, and I will not. Before you go, mortal, one final challenge. <laughs> Not much of a challenge there, bud. They do have the key to the shrine, though. Choir's key. Might as well go in and check it out. Maybe there's some more stuff here from my museum. Hello, everyone. Cool. Ooh, look at that. Adric, ancient Daedric Lord Curus. Interesting. Cool. There's a ton of shit around here, too. Leather helmet of distillation. Holy shit, there's so much stuff here, actually. Fireball to take it. Refined moonstone. Anything over here? Bone mill salt pile. Need more bone mill for something. Hello, sir. How can I help you? You're just, uh... Serana's little boy toy there. Cool. Don't need that, but I read it. Too much. Unable to run. Epic. Magic robes. Ooh. Steel plate helmet of insight. 4% experience. That's cool. Oops, didn't mean to touch that. Is there anything else? Hide boots? Okay. So, let's stash some stuff. Be right back. Okay. Easy. Easy peasy. Well, let's check out the dagger I got. Because now... I can actually drop that. Mayrune's Razor. Hits have a 2% chance to instantly kill, reducing armor by 363 points for 7 seconds. Holy fuck. That is wonderful, actually. I am so surprised. But, uh, yeah, a little fucked up that we killed the guy. But, I mean, honestly, he was no good to begin with and now we have stuff for our museum let's actually head back there and put stuff away now that i'm thinking about it and then we will find out what to do next and you know i don't even feel bad about it like yeah he was a nice guy and all yeah well relatively you know he didn't uh oh let me actually check my mail yeah yeah Letter from Tyra Bloodfire. Who the fuck is that? Uh... My name is Tyra Bloodfire. Like solitude, the wet ear before me. Well, I don't even know what that fucking means. I am an orphan child of Baltimore. Many years ago, I took a band of misfits and rogues and turned them into the Crimson Dirks. In our heyday... They called us thieves, bandits, apostates, and killers. And they were right. We were all of those things. But so is the Jarl who taxes the poor to starvation. The soldiers who rape and pillage the towns. The Empire who would erase our gods. And the guardsmen who would behead the innocent. I know your story. If there's going to be a, any, be a judge for me, uh, I don't want it to be one of them. Not the Empire, not the East Empire Trading Company, not the Guards, just you and the Divines. But first, I want you to prove that you're a worthy judge. Go to the docks in Wil Windhelm. There you'll meet a beggar in need of your aid. Some would offer him gold, others bread and wine. Offer him the alms you think will be best ser that will best serve him. Once you've proved your measure and your mercy, you must then show your mettle. I will wait for you at the Tallow Shrine west of Windhelm. When at last we meet, I ask you to speak only with 
your blade. For while the tongue lies, the sword is true. I have no fucking idea what any of that is about. Heart of Crimson started a quest. Okay. Now, back to the subject of killing that man. Uh, I don't feel bad because literally probably everything in the museum has blood on it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> uh, not really too many uh, things I got from not killing. But let's put stuff up. Up to 9.58 or 54 or 8.54. Jesus Christ. Okay, and now that he's actually dead, those vampire piles are still there. Let's go back to his museum and see if we can, you know, assimilate some items from him to me. Who the fuck are you, Shady Sam? Huh? What have you got for sale, Shady Sam? Look. Just poisons and lockpicks galore, eh? That's fucking funny. Till next time. Yep. See you next time. Anyway. <laughs> now, I hope that we can take these things from his museum and put them on ours. Watch the game not even, like, think they're worthy. <laughs> and we should maybe have a key from him? I don't remember if I picked up a key from him. Either way, yeah. we can pick the lock. Yeah, it's not that hard. Okay, case number one. Mythic dong shoes, mythic dong glove. Yep, yeah, I don't even need them. Case number two. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That one's needed for the museum. See if any of these books are needed for the museum. And I'm guessing these are one of a kind items, you know. All right, here we go. Volume one. Volume two. Volume three. Volume four. Excellent. And then I can't even open this, so... Cool. Well, let's go back and put those up, and... Hot damn! We did it, everyone. <laughs> I'm totally fucking... Destroyed our competition. Let's fucking go. Okay, so it doesn't look like the backpacks are actually working. They're not, uh, being taken by... My museum here. Oh well. Not not a huge setback or anything. Oh, look at all this stuff we can make. I didn't even know. That's interesting. Almer Scepter. Okay, well let's sort by value. Okay, cool. We made a ton of stuff with that. Actually, so much so that I can't run. Interesting. Let's go put all this shit away. It'll take me a second, though. Okay. Now that everything has been sorted and everything's cool, I think I want to do... Um, Let me see if I can find it here. Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. We just found... Ah, and it's in Riften. Okay. We just found these unusual gems, so now would be a perfect time to get them out of our inventory. Okay, here we are. Back in our airship. Cool. Uh, let us float down and see... Well, that's not floating, but okay. Let us see if... Is it down there? Where's this appraiser? Is it up there? It says it's up there. 
I don't think that's right. <laughs> help me! Help me! Mercy! Somebody help! Enough. Get him! Kill him! No more! The hell's going on? Why is everybody running? When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. You seem cool. You seem like you're in trouble. I am actually going to enter... Oh, never mind. Leave. I was going to say I'm going to enter something. Oh, come on. I want to enter a door and an exit because it's a tip of Mara. Interesting. I'm going to enter and exit because I think the thing's a little bugged right now. And let's see if that fixed it. It did indeed fix it. Cool. So it's over here somewhere. You. Hello, good sir. Mal. Know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Uh, just passing through. Yeah. Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. The Thieves Guild, interesting. And who are you? Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Uh, got any dirt on this? Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. Interesting. So what do you know? Uh, I guess this is a way to get into the thieves guild. Show me what the gems were. Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the thieves guild. Get in good with them, and you'll find her. Oh, okay. There we go. Any news involving the Dark the Brotherhood? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Cool. Any news about the Thieves Guild? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Tell me about the Black well, Briars. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Do you fuck with the war? <laughs> hey, if the Empire and the Stormcloaks want to kill each other over some foolish cause, I say let them. All I care about is two things. Watching Maven's back and counting the gold she pays me to do it. Are the Blackbriars worried about the enemies they've made around here? To be honest, I doubt someone would be stupid enough to make an attempt on Maven's life. But my blade is sharp, and as long as she continues to keep me at her side, she can count on my blade to protect her. Cool. Well. Be seeing you around. Turns out those unusual gems the are for the uh, Thieves Guild. Interesting. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Interesting. Uh, should we do that? I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. Leave a comment if you want me to start the Thieves Guild quest. It's probably going to be hella fun and cool. Ah, you're Black Briar. But yeah. I think we're going to call it there today. Little, uh, little on the short side maybe, but... 
I, I don't know. That's according to my... Is that a doggy with armor? That's a wolf. Look at him. He's so cool. What are you guys doing? You're in the Dawn Guard. Dawn Guard Husky. Yo, my boys. Every one of them. Okay, well, that's a good ending point on, on Happy Doggo. Goodbye, everyone. See you in the next one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan and Serana and Cat Vegetable. Um, so last time we got rid of our competition in the museum, it was very, very fun. <laughs> and then we went to Riften to find a uh, appraiser for the unusual gem, but... After reading this, uh, it was suggested I show the unusual gem to Vex, a member of the Thieves Guild in Riften. However, I'll need... Oh, excuse me. I'll need to wait until I'm a full member of the guild before she will be able to assist me. So I have to join and defeat... Well, not defeat. Join and... Win? I don't know what the fucking term is. I have to go to the Thieves Guild and complete it. Uh, so we are going to do just that today and I going to be real with you. I totally, oh my God, my frames are terrible here. I have no idea why it's all chugging along, but uh, it's bad. I am looking for this man Never right done here. An honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying. Hey, lad. All meats guaranteed. I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin. But you didn't earn a septum of it, honestly. I killed I a lot tell. of people to get this money. And I own a museum. <laughs> How can you possibly know that my wealth is none of your business? How could you know that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk. What they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. What do you mean? Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. You seem to be well acquainted with wealth. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Okay, uh, my sneaking and pickpocketing skills are very, very bad. <laughs> Why plant a ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. A chance arrangement. Why are we doing this to Branchi? We've been contracted to make sure Branchi remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Uh, how am I supposed to do all this? Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's okay, stall fair enough. and use your lockpick on the strongbox. I can do that. Then, Lockpicking's good. You, ring, you pick pocket branche and leave it behind. I'd like to buy an elixir. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's get this started. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to... Hold on, I need to mark it on my map. Uh, journal, chance arrangement. Okay, it's marked oh, yeah, now. Your attention. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Um... You need to hear this. Come on, Brignon. What Hands is it? Off. Patience, Branche. I thought... This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to uh, you're kind of missing. Oh my god, my frames are so bad here. And it turned out to be crushed fruit mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Man, fuck this. I'm taking. I got tons of potions of invisibility, right? 
45 seconds. Lads and lasses, I give there. Falma blood elixir. Okay, easy. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the snow elves? I'll and take it all. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great magic. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you get that then? No one's seen them in years. Okay. Now I need to... Oh, shit. What was the ring called? Is it here? No. Medeus's silver ring? Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Damn. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Luckily, I just and had a potion go. of invisibility. Payment, just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. A hundred bucks? Really? Yeah. What's been going on? My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Um, uh, I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Ragged Get Flagon. Get in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. You got it. Okay, so now I need to locate him at the Ragged Flagon. Ragged Flagon! What a funny... Oh, being barb. Says it's in there. You gonna go in first? Okay, he's gonna go in first. I will go in second. Thank you very much. People of Riften, heed my words. The uh -oh. turn of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased <coughs> with your constant inebriation. Oh, boo. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the Handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Marama. We talked about this. Talon. <laughs> Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. Does that Those Argonian have a mustache? The chaos they've what? Enough, Where was that in the character creation? The dragons and their return. Oh, I wish Tardy no Penis could grow a mustache. To harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this. What about this haircut? We're not kicking you out. Just keep this huh? at the temple. Yeah. Let us oh. all sin in peace. <laughs> Let us all sin in peace. Hello. What is it with you and all these questions? Very well. Ask away. How do I find the rat way? If I have to hold your hand through everything, oh, maybe bitch. you aren't cut Calm out for down. this kind of work. It's under your feet, lad. Just follow the smell. We can't talk here. The walls have ears, and you're being tested, lad. We'll talk in the ragged flagon. Okie doke. Come back when you grow a backbone. I'm guessing it's down here. Uh, let's see. Open door. Uh huh. It's a bath. Oh, it's a sauna. Interesting. Okay, this isn't where I want to be. Who the fuck is this guy? Which makes me nervous. Vigilant of Stendar? You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Yo! Uh, the vampire terrorizing Harford is dead. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Oh my god, I can finally get those fucking quests out of here. He didn't even give me any money? Are you serious? He didn't give me money, he just gave me a bunch of shit? 100 XP, not bad, actually. I'll take that. That's bullshit. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. More bullshit. Uh... May I receive Stendar's blessing? Walk always in the light. Stendar be with you. Oh, okay, no. Reduce damage from Deja and Undead. God of mercy and justice. 
Seems interesting, but not Dead really what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for the, the Thieves Guild here. Can this roll up? Is this anything? Hmm. Is this door exit the being a barb? Okay, well now I'm a bit confused. Maybe I go up to go down? Oh, I've already... Blue in the face. I'll take that. At the Grom's Pass. Interesting. I don't know why that noise happened. Steal from chest empty. Open the door. Mara smiles upon you. Just a leaflet. Our blue friend. Okay. Cool. Oh. Did I find it? Nope. This might be the owner's place. Forge numbers business ledger. There's nothing to change. Oh, and I just got a bounty. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. The vigil will okay, be watching. That's so fucking cool, honestly. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Holy shit, that's insane. Okay, so I don't think it's actually in here. I think we need to go down to the lower place, the lower level. Unless I am actually stupid, which is probably the case, let's be real. And I just completely missed an opening somewhere. Eh. Eh. There we go. Because isn't it, isn't it down here? I remember it being down here. Oh, and I'm in water. Okay, there's... Uh-oh. The water didn't stop making noise. There we go. Okay. Is it this? The bee and barb? Oh, here we go. We can enter the bee and barb from here, hopefully. And then find our way there. Okay. Is there a trap door or something? A barrel to move? I honestly don't remember. I just heard something move. Okay. Ah, oh, this was... Hello? Yes? That melody you sung, it's not <laughs> as common as some other of the local favorites. No, I imagine it isn't. Few have ever heard it, and even fewer understand what it's about. Some say it's a quiet song of glory. While others will tell you it tells the loudest of tragedies. You see, to be a companion, to be part of the circle, one must give up a piece of their humanity. It was not something I was willing to give. So I left my shield brothers and sisters and set out on my own. I figured I needed the time to myself and I've grown weary of saying goodbye. I imagine it was a difficult choice. Not at all. The choice was easy. I've always been suspicious of easy power. The only strength that you can truly rely on is the kind that's earned. Have you ever thought of returning to the Companions? No. And it has nothing to do with the Circle. That's why I left, but there's a different reason why I won't return. Uh, what's the reason you won't return to your jibber? When I was a child, I thought of nothing else but joining the fabled companions. Not out of some desire to be a hero, but because I believed there was no safer place to live than inside the great meat hall of Yavaska. Okay. I remember kneeling on the steps, drenched in wet rags, 
The clouds practically screaming the rain. I wanted to use the bard thing. So pitiful, begging Skior to take me in. Yet it wasn't pity he gave me, but scorn. Who we already have we people that do that, said, and they make quite a bit of Yavaskar is not an orphanage. I don't trust and he was right. Come to think of it, I don't trust All you. my life I'd sought the protection of others, and when I should have been safe. learning to protect myself. We all need to rely on others. Surely you have someone... Or sure you have not come this far without help. True. There I have my Wanathan. I have relied on the strength of others. And each time it has only served to hinder my own development. And my lord and saviors, the mammoths. With a companion. Amen. You might even call him a friend. For years I would rely on him for food, for warmth, and for someone to talk to. But what if the day came when I couldn't summon his aid? And then what would become of me? No. That wasn't going to be my fate. Uh, I mean, how are you? How about we play together, Bard? Interesting. How did, uh, how did you eventually become a companion? The wolves will recruit any fighter who is strong and virtuous, for there are few in this world who are both. My chance came about seven summers ago, when the city held a tournament to celebrate the birth of the Jarl's son. What happened in the Jarl's tournament? I was a girl not even flowered. And the crowd behind me laughed and jeered when I requested to enter my name on the archers list. But all went silent when Yule and Greymane vouched for me, and paid for my entrance with a dagger from the Skyforge. Uh, what do you think Orolond uh, vouched for you? From his view atop the Skyforge, he'd seen me grow from a child who could barely knock an arrow, to one who could bullseye a flea. He watched me train outside Yavaska day and night, in the chills of winter and the rains of spring, so that I could one day earn my way inside. And on that day, there was not an archer in Whiterun whose aim was more true. Not Aethys or Irileth, not even Aela the Huntress would best me. Color me impressed. Beating those three is an impressive feat. I was fortunate. Ayla's a more skillful archer than I, but on that day she was not at her best, and I was never better. Okay, cool. I didn't expect to find you here. What? Did you think I would spend the rest of my days in that cavern? Oh! Oh! She was the one that, uh... She was singing when we found the key, right? Maybe? Could have made a perfect underground lair. <laughs> Do I look like a necromancer to you? Okay, maybe not. Besides, even if I was, Greywater Grotto is hardly remote. We considered my offer. How so? The water attracts nomads crossing to and from Cyrodiil, and draws more than its fair share of beasts. But mortals prefer mead to water, so I ended up here. Although it's going to take some time for me to get used to this black briar swill. <laughs> How about we play what together? Like to play? Uh, I'll play the loot. Certainly, that one always gets the place moving. Oh, I'm following her. Oh, I suck. Oh, I'm terrible. Hey guys. I'm sorry. Okay, holy shit, that was awful, huh? Give me a stew and make it quick. Let's see. That dude left. Oh no, he's right here. It says it's right there, dude. I don't know. I'm retarded. Am I actually stupid? This is the way I came out. Dude, I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. It says it's over there. Okay. Well then, let's head over there. Ah, oh, hello, people. Addicts. Probably Skuma. Oh my god. I was so close. Stay out of the rat way. 
Yeah, right. I'll take that. And I will enter the rat way. Okay, we're here, everybody. Sounds like a bunch of crap's going on. I don't know. I don't know. They'd skin us alive if they knew hey, we you. were doing this. Hey, you. Stop right there. Hello. Empty your pockets or end up as Skiva food. Yeah, not happening. I'm not giving you a hundred k. Just looking for the ragged flagon. Brynjolf's been sending idiots like you down here for years looking for their hideout. Funny thing is, his stupid thieves guild never counted on me and my partner blocking the way. Dude, I now literally your end your life. Or I'll pick the gold off your corpse. I've literally killed dozens like you. No need to get hasty. I, I was just testing you. You can go uh -huh. on. Uh huh. Good. Let him yeah, go. Yeah, that's what I thought. All clear. Good one. Serana just popping in to fucking back me up. Sup, fucker? Damn, dude. You fucking got that rat so good, bro. Good job. Okay, I actually missed how he died. <laughs> I'm actually confused. Okay, well. Hello. Traps galore. Ow. Yeah, right. Somebody left their boots. Is this the ragged flagon? And open the door. Bunch of bear traps everywhere. Good one. Find the ghost. Follow the ghost. Oops, I hit all the wrong fucking things. Oh. Calm down. What ghost? Iron battle axe. I missed the ghost. Oh, there's a mailbox here. Is this Shadowfoot Sanctum? Okay, so that's clearly a player base. Am I stupid? Uh, is this doing the right one here? Locate the ragged flagon. Follow the ghost. Found the ghostly woman. Soul divided. Okay. It actually points me somewhere. It wants me to go in there. Enter the Guardian Vault? What? This is crazy. This sewer is crazy. I understand that the Thieves Guild would have traps galore. But ghosts? Who'd have thought? Hello. I'm gonna save my game. Because <laughs> I am... Perturbed. Investigate the vault. Activate barrier. Whoa, that's a cool looking sword. I kind of don't want to activate barrier, but I'm going to do it. Magical bear block your way. Okay. Are these like three separate trials I have to complete? Hello, sirs. How are you? Are you good? Defeat the guardian. Yep. Ow, you bitch. Must be yeah, you dead. You dead, boy. Fuck you. All right, one down, three to go. Investigate the north chamber. Wanathan, you fucking couldn't get through the door. Green. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I get you. Journal. I'll take it. Hello. Anyone here? Hello, ma'am. Goodbye. Anything in here? No. Hello, ma'am. Are you another warrior I have to defeat? 
Okay. Okay, he's dead. Burn smuggler's note. Embalming pick. Human heart. Whoa, skeleton! He's got a name. You got a name, little boy. That's too damn bad. Oh, it's granite I'll take, though. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me, Serana. That guy got it raw, dude. God damn. Okay, time to uh, investigate. Blue. Cool. Hello. Hello, all these dead people. Y'all are crazy. Take the lavender. Take the journal. Touch the guardian's wife. Tomb of the guardian's wife. Oh. Hello. Ow. Who's there? Oh, is this like a horde survival? Or do I still have to fight? Oh shit. Yeah. Defeat the Guardian. Okay, everyone, calm down. Oh, got me. Alright, I'm back, motherfuckers. Y'all are all level one, so it's not gonna be, like, hard to do, which it shouldn't. I just have to... Throw out fireballs. Okay, easy this time. Oh, there's more guardians. Now I get to fight the big boss. There he is. Hello, sir. What? You just fucking one shot me? That son of a bitch. Only oh, two shot me. Okay, easy. Oh shit. Gotcha. Holy shit, let's take a look at all this shit. Oh, he's got blade stuff. Oh, fucking sick. I need all the blade stuff. A letter from home. Let's look at that letter from home real quick, just to see if it pops anything up. Letter from home? Nope. Didn't do nothing. Okay. Wanathan's late to the fight and is in the way as always. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oh, the embrace. Loving embrace. And now I get to retrieve the sword, the Dawn Fang. Yo, that looks sick as fuck. It added the inventory. No, no big, no big thing. Just added the inventory. Dawn Fang. In daytime, deal seven points of fire damage. At nighttime, deal seven points of frost damage. After killing 12 creatures, absorb five points of health or magicka. Zero creatures killed. Interesting. For 22 damage, that's not that good. Honestly. I'll just throw in the museum with everything else. But, cool little side quest on our way to go find the Thieves Guild. I'm going to save my game because, uh, who knows what kind of one-shotting traps they have. And I would not want to do that over again. Aww, he's adorable. Started Pets of Skyrim. Find a key to the Skeever's cage. Yo, I can get a pet? Skuma, skuma, skuma. Those were all empty. 
Um, you. Confessions. S S S S S. Okay. Doesn't matter, it seems. Huh. Now, is that on... Pets of Skyrim? Right there, find a key. Oh, it's back there? Do I go forward through here? Oh, shit. Okay. What the hell am I looking at here? Is it in this haystack? Do I find a needle in the haystack? Okay, I'm none too sure what that's about. Cause it says it's right here. But I am dumb. So we're gonna ignore that for now. The ragged flagon. Is it this way? Oh, okay, this is a... I opened a shortcut. Want to move. Serana, get the fuck out of the way. Okay, here we are. This is the ragged flagon. We found it. We found it, boys. Ah, yes, I remember this. Interesting layout. Give it up, Ringo. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Who are y'all talking about? Sir, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Call me I also got this cool sword. certain I'd ever see you again. It took me a while, sorry. Here I am. Getting here was easy. Sure. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats are fine. What'd they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Uh... Can't I do something more discreet? Who are they? Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Uh, how do you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Uh, considered it done. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. What's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. About any tips of Kiravan? Kirava's stubborn. Kirava. She's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the beach. See if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Uh, any help He's on as Burisil? A man as you'll ever find. Mercy? The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Okay, cool. I'll be here when you're done. Okay, we have officially joined the Thieves Guild, pretty much. Everybody's burping and doing shit. So let's head back to Riften and check out what's going on. I'm still a little confused about this. This is interesting. Huh. I don't know. I just want a key for the little skeever man. Hello. I didn't talk to you. Okay. You're not talkable too. I've been looking for you. Got some oh, dude, the couriers down here in the sewers. <laughs> That's hilarious. Rain or shine, buddy. They ain't, they ain't stopping for nothing. I'm gonna be in the middle of the fucking final boss fight with Alduin, and then he's just gonna. I have something What's for you. Deliver? Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Of course. 
Looks like that's it. Got to go. <laughs> okay, good to go. Being the barb expert, eh? Oh, look, another shortcut. Interesting. And does this leave? Oh, Elgrim's elixirs. Okay, so they basically have like a network of tunnels underneath the city that they use. Be careful, please. Just leave. That they use in oh. in order to uh Antimancer's room. What? What is this? Jesus Christ, why are there so many locks on this door that's unlocked? Have you been through the trials? Have you learned to love your, to learn learn to love yourself and others? Trials, what are you talking about? If you haven't been through the trials, then leave. This is no place for you. Huh. Fine, where do I get to go for these trials? I suggest you head to Dawnstar, the town plagued by nightmares. Your trial begins there. But I've already done that quest. If you wish to take a detour, follow the puppet named Altano. But if you wish to take a shortcut instead, then follow the vessel named Orlando. Weird. Can I say it again and say I've already been here? I've already been through these trials. And let me ask you a few questions. If you say what is true, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If what you say is true. What color is was the stone and was it real? Stone was blue and it was real. The stone was red and it was fake. It was blue and it was real. Don't lie to me. If it were blue, your story would already be over already. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't even be able to talk to you now okay well fair you know what i'm gonna give that up uh that's something interesting that we can come back to uh i think it gave us a quest so we could probably look at that to see more uh let's see map journal yeah prove yourself to the air antomancer that's all it says Okay. Interesting. And I'm still looking for the key to the pets. But I don't think I'll find it here. So I think we've pretty much explored this entire place, it seems. I want that ski. Oh, fuck. I f keep forgetting that's there. What even is that? Oh! Fucking little rat. You little fucking rat. Stupid little rat. That's cool. Anyway. Says it's right here. I don't see nothing. We're moving on. What is this? Bagger. Pickpocket increased. Cool. I need that for the museum anyway. Now we can go to the... Be in the barb. I think for now, we're just going to head up to the top side that should be right over here somewhere right yeah what's up fucker don't worry Hunan will let you pass okay these are places i've already been to all right we're out of the sewers okay oh excuse me serana you're in the fucking way eh Ah, uh, okay. Squeeze through. Now. Damn faithless imperials. Violet Lily? Mmm, those are some suspicious names, ladies. Vigilant of Stendar. Mmm, what are you guys up to? Y'all are looking to have a good time? Okay. Hard R, hell hard. Oh no, <laughs> his name isn't Hard R. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Harald. Harold. It's Harold. Um. Okay. Well, I think for now, 
we are gonna call it there. Oh god, I love these skyboxes. So good. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. It's unnatural. Okay, cool. Um Oh, they're talking about Wanathan. <laughs> yeah, right. Suspicious man. Anyway, I'm gonna call it there. I'm sorry, I'm I'm still like itching to play, but I'm gonna call it there for today. And we're gonna go do some um some not some shakedowns. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. We're gonna go do some shakedowns next episode, and it'll be nice and fun. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan and Serana. Well, bring Cat Vegetable again sometime. Uh, so, last time we joined the Thieves Guild, we got a level up here. I'm gonna put in the magic. I've got nine perk points, and I don't really know what to do with them. <laughs> anyway, we joined the Thieves Guild. We were tasked with... Uh, shaking down some people who are all uh, there they are oh my god I keep fucking hitting the wrong button okay my frames are terrible here but we'll see if I can find this looks like it's down here oh that's back in the rat way hold on what else is what do I have marked in my journal ah yes 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 Skeever key. We'll leave that. We'll leave the... Is this on the map? It's just in Riften. Okay, I'm gonna have to re-watch that footage and see what, exactly what it said to me. Um... Blue in the face. No. I guess we're just gonna go and do some optional smashing stuff. Uh, we're looking for a couple of people to shake down who owe them money so let's see here oh my god the frames are horrible and rift in when i look that way i'm gonna look this way okay let's see so first on the list is whoever is in here helga's bunkhouse it doesn't say that it's not okay to enter. Can I help you? Uh, maybe. Depends if my screen comes on. Hello, Helga. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. This place is for the working man. I have a message from Bijon. Now, I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Persuade. We both know there's only one way to end this. Look. I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. We're running out of patience. I'm sorry, just... just don't hurt me. Here's the gold. Now please, just leave me Ayo. in peace. Ayo! We got it. Debt collected. Sarana wants none to do with it. She's just like, I'm just here for the food. I don't know that man. Well, that was easy. Let's hope we can persuade everyone just like that, and everybody's super reasonable and fair. Oh my god, my frames. I apologize, everyone. My computer is working its ass off. Pawn Prawn. That's a good name. I wonder if it's a pawn shop. That'd be funny. Uh, kinda barely. Hello there, friend. All right, let's Welcome try a little diplomacy first. Bar. What can I help you with? Ah, damn, he seems like a nice guy. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Oh, I'll pay. I'll pay. Here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Okay. Again, Serana's just doing her own fucking thing over there. <laughs> Wants nothing to do with this savagery. But hey, everybody's being super reasonable. 
Let's see if the third guy is like that. Ian Barb, hell yeah. Oh no, it's Mustache Argonian Man. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. Could I interest you in one of our special drinks? Special how? Uh... How did you meet Kreevara? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Uh, I can find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I think I've already sold the ones I have in the museum. Um... You might want to talk some sense into Kariva. With the rumors going around about how poorly your kids are doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. And help me convert her pay. I'm telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Okay, cool. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Excuse me, hello. Stay away from me. What manner of magic is this? Stay away from me. What? Here for a room or something okay. to drink? Okay, that was weird. Show I just had to coins. mash the button. I have a message. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I, I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. You tell him I'm sorry, yes? What Take this. Every single coin I know is there. I swear it. Well, that was easy. Didn't need what to man? even bring up her family. She just fucking caved immediately. Well... Shakedown's complete. Now we just gotta go back to the B in the bar, or not the B in the bar, but the Rataway. Whoop. Legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Oh, a creepy fellow. Whoop. Okay. Here we are. And then we go into the Ratway. And then we should have opened up all those neat little shortcuts that'll make us get there real quick. Let's see. I wonder if those guys are still down here. Oh, yep. They sure are. Hey, bud. How's it going? Having a good time? Um, yep. I already had this down. And it's to the left here. There's still a ton of rats. Oh, dude. We got all your money. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owe well us. Done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Oh, uh, some potions? Eh, what's Judging next then? How well you've handled those shopkeepers. I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, That's I'm in. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Hopefully. I'm sure I will. How about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Join the Thieves Guild. Look at that. Everybody get out of the man's way. He's got pathing to do. You haven't touched your horker loaf. Are you okay, honey? Oh, there he is. This way? What's down here? Barracks. The Christerner? Christern? Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Okay. Go ahead then. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I stepped too close to him. 
Oh, so that was the Ragged Flag, and this is like the real Thieves Guild. We can take all that and sell it. Iron Sword of Might. What does that do? Just power attacks deal 17 more damage. That's funny. It's just this way. Keep following me. I'm trying to, but you keep turning around to look at me. All right. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Mercer Frey. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brignol. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Chef. I mean, yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. The subtitles stop However, working. The owner has there it goes. Decided to take I just had to say something. His own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Uh, so how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Like Mallory the Yakuza. The they know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Uh, I think I'm good on armor. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Uh, makes sense. What's so important with these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Fair enough. What should I do about Maybe Rengoth? Maybe that Arangoth remains alive. Arangoth. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Okay. How do I destroy the beehives? They're like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar meadery which would cut into a profit. Fair enough. Maven Blackbriar is the influential client? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Okay. Fair enough. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. And then who are you? You're not who I want to talk to. You're not who I want to talk to. Where the hell is everyone else in this fucking place? Are these prison cells? Coffins? 
This goes up to the ragged flagon. I think. Or no, it went to the... Is there anyone else here? Oh, a bunch of books. That are fake. Fake books. Oh, are you in charge of the armory? Did I fucking just walk into the armory? My bad, dude. How are you doing? Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? Know anything about the Golden Glow Estate? I'd like to know why you're wasting time asking about it when you should already be on your way. Fair enough. Dick. A word of advice. Don't disappoint me. Fair enough. Uh, more fake books. Lock picks. Possible rivals. Note from Mercer. Oh. Okay. Requires key. That's probably their armory. Now, where are these two other people that I need to talk to? Are they marked on my map? Because I don't think I have... They're not marked on my map. Okay. It's just another cage. More cages with heaters this time. Is there something up here? Oh, hello. You're still not the people I want to talk to. What the F? There's armor just sitting right there. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, this is probably their, uh... Their training thing. Maybe it's not training. Maybe it's just fucking killing me. Well, that sucks. I gotta fucking do that whole conversation again, goddammit. Okay. Done with them. Still not the people I'm looking for. They're probably in the Ragged Flagon, if I had to guess. But also there's like... A bunch of shit in here I can take, probably. Yeah, looks like it. I'm gonna go try that chest one more time. I am gonna save the game over, though. Um... Just because I know that the card dropped in there, I think. Who are you, Viper the Fleet? Okay, yeah. So there's Bear Trap. I see that placement there. The key work? Sure did. Okay. Bullshit. Wasn't even a tripwire. Okay, I got the chest. Fuck everything else. Is this just a lockpick chest? No, there's actual stuff in it. What is this? Lockpick. Lockpick. Fake tools. Okay. Well, well, I'll see if those two people I need to talk to are in the Ragged Flagon. And then after that, we just go straight to the beehive place. Okay. Oh, you, you're Delvin. He just one who you hasn't touched... And dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. Oh. So... If you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm going to give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. A curse? What can we do about I'll it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. 
That's, That's what I'm talking incoming. about, baby. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Uh, you can train me in sneak. Ooh, what's my sneak Stick at? With me, and 46? Know you're there. We can get that up to 50. Sure. Uh, now well, let's jobs available. extra work. All the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breaking some more your thing, go talk to Vex. Numbers jobs, fishing jobs, bedlam jobs. Numbers Most of jobs. The establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Ah, your that's what I saw earlier. Change the numbers in those books. So the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? I'll do it. Finally, guessing these are infinite quests. Backbone. Here you go. Okay, cool. Vex. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. I don't so know about that. If you think that. you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two. You follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Hey, take it easy. Easy, huh? So, should I just hand you purses of coin, or are you gonna work to earn your keep? Let me give you a small bit of advice. Nothing in this line of work is easy. She's so no mean to me. To rag in the rat way would be robbing Rift and Blind. If something's being handed to you on a silver platter, then there's a catch. Steal the platter instead. You get it? I'll keep that in mind. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort I'm of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want I think you just teleported it's away. Oh, there he is. Bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Give me a burglary job. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? I'm in. Good. Here's what you need to do. Stand up, turn your head like an owl, 90 degrees, and then walk away. Okay, so are those on my journal? Are they under miscellaneous? Yeah, okay, see. Oh, I forgot I have to summon him into Tamriel. Okay, interesting. I'll put that one on. And then... It doesn't look like it gave me the other quest. So, oh well. Oh, who are you? So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything mm. you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? <laughs> Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Cool. Bring the unusual gem. Oh, I have to become a full. Oh, I don't even have to complete it. Now, if you look. Okay, Vex. So, feeling loose. I have. How about you run a job for me? Never mind then. Oh, is this an unusual gem worth anything? Since I've seen one of those. 
What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Oh Most my them as a curiosity. God. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Are you sure you won't buy them? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find oh the rest of them, talk to me again. God, fuck that. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. God damn it, that shit's going to be in my inventory forever. Okay, fine. Come on, take another job so we can both make some money. Okay. Uh, let's... Wait, is there... Why is it telling me to go back there? All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Damn it. The vault, eh? I sense. Hello? There's a rat. There's another rat. Are these just bad people? Aha! Skeevers. Rat! Rat! Got him! Ooh, necklace, eh? Who the fuck is fighting you? This is Skeever? Come on, you can do it. Okay, weird. I didn't expect the, uh, vaults to have a bunch of bullshit in them. <laughs> that was fun. Nordic arrows. Lock picks. Take some iron ingots. What the hell is down here, though? War Axe of Crystals. Black Ice deals 13 points of unresistible frost damage to health and stamina. Coin purse. Coin purse. Coin purse. Don't be nervous. There's none to be nervous about. Oh. This is trapped, isn't it? Oops. There we go. Darwin's bow? The hell is that? Just a fucking shit ass bow. I don't know. It's probably for a quest. Let me see if I can drop it. If I can drop it, it's probably not for a quest. Quest item locked by bow of master. Or something. Interesting. Oh. My game crashed. Womp womp. Okay. Back at it. Hopefully my game doesn't crash this time. What did that say? Blacksmith what? Stay Blacksmith shoes. What's down in here then? Ratway warrants. Okay. Let's just unlock those doors straight up. What the hell is this place? How deep do these tunnels go? Hello? I finally understand what it all means. 
what it was all for. The killing and the dying. Okay. Why you little filcher? That actually the fires lit up the night all across Lake Rumea. I don't know why that I didn't read that it was steel. It was beautiful, really. Whatever. It's gone. Hello, sir. Ah, so tender. Come here, you juicy morsel. I'm gonna eat well tonight. Oh, okay. Very impressive. I'd say so. Oh. Oh. Hello. Why do you disturb me, mortal? I've yeah. nothing to discuss with oh. you. I wish to know the name of the one who haunts these warrens. I am Dagrelon, the greatest and most powerful Stop. mage who ever lived. But that was then. I live no more. Sound plenty alive to me. You certainly smell dead. Life and death are but words. You stand here, as do I. No, you wretched fool. Death is more than a word. Yes. It is a cold hand of rotted flesh, Fucking hissing air yes. as foul as a goblin's whisper. Life does not flow through this shell. It is as empty as your philosophy. You mentioned you were a mage. No, worm, I did not. To call me a mage is to call the Direni Tower a fortress, and the Red Year a fire. It is a testament to my prowess that I exist on the mortal plane, even as my body decays in death's hollow embrace. Bucket, knife. You call me a worm, but your body's infested with them. How exactly how old are you? I have wandered through Tamriel since the day of the broken diamond. When Queen Potema reigned in solitude. Only a lich could survive for such a long period of time. Like a fish scuttling on land, you flap your gills. Your feeble mind attempting to grasp what is beyond your comprehension. Lichdom is a fool's bargain. For necromancers content spending eternity as skinless wraiths. With a sleight of hand, they control their corpse like an avatar, as their souls are bound to phylacteries. I did not prescribe to such cheap necromancer tricks. I sought the path to true immortality through the techniques developed by the Sigic monks. Sigic monks, eh? Tell me about these techniques. The could send their voices across great distances. Their voices manifesting as living ghosts in the ether of conjured space. It is even said that the Sigics could disrupt the flow of time. I've seen that. Really in the infinitesimal space between this world and the void. I succeeded in achieving the opposite. To have my body held in stasis as time flowed around me. Uh... That doesn't seem to be working out very well for you. Intriguing what went wrong. The question is not what, feeble mortal, but who. One of my servants acted outside of my will. How were you betrayed? The spell surrounded my body in a cocoon of lost time, at which point I would be invulnerable from all outside influence as time passed around me. However, in the instant I return to the mortal plane, my body would be at its most vulnerable, as the soul sought to gain control of its faculties. The assailant knew this, but the fool was careless. What do you mean by careless? The blow was struck as most of my soul remained in the void, and my body had yet to return to time. When the spell was interrupted, my body became trapped in slowed time. As such, it took 50 years for my soul to regain consciousness. It took 100 years for the dagger's wound to bleed out of my neck. 200 years before I could conjure movement beyond the slow of time. Yet, two centuries later, my body still continues to wait for a spell that will never finish, and a time that will never resume its normal pace. <laughs> no. Follow me, I need your help. 
There must be a reason for your fixation with death. Follow me and need your help. Lead. Do not waste your breath talking. You're just a follower? The pathway is a grave. Those who live in it are meant to decay. Uh, are you just gonna follow me forever now? Yes. Book. Yes. Bucket. Yes. I'm very dangerous. No. Don't make me come out there and hurt you. I'm not opening this door, so you might as well leave me alone. If my friends find out you've been bothering me, you'll be very sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird. Huh. Uh, we'll see if he actually comes outside of the rat way here. Never find me. But... There might be all there is to do here. We'll see. Hello? Go away, go away, go away! Huh? Wait, who's Death there? comes for you now! Feast on their remains. Cool. Okay. There is only one way to deal with golden glow. Pathetic set. mortal! Burn it to the ground. Send a message to both Maven and Arangoth that you are in control. That's weird that he has lines for that. I'm not gonna do that though, because I want to well, I kinda don't need the money, so. I guess it'd be fine if I did that. Excuse me, Wanathan. Wanathan, excuse me, thank you. So it said he was put in the first slot. So I'm assuming that means that, yeah, he's still following us. Um, I'm assuming it means that Serana isn't counted because she's needed for a quest right now. Which means I could have multiple followers. Oh, poor white rat. Let's climb up here. That seems fun. Ye. Okay, that works. Ragged flagon. Okay. Hello, everyone. Just ignore my vampire girlfriend and my lich buddy over there. <laughs> and my ghost friend. <laughs> what a motley crew. <laughs> I just realized that's hilarious. What an odd cast of characters I have assembled. Beautiful. Okay. So. Got ourselves a ghost friend, kind of. Not much of a ghost. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Wanathan actually had a texture there? What the hell? That was weird. By the gods. What's this word I know, right? I got a fucking bunch of good people. Anyway, now we need to go over here and burn the hives down and clear out his safe. So I am going to leave that for next time. Uh, we are going to we're going to leave Rift in here, but I'm going to call it there. I don't know if uh, having my guys in stealth makes them invisible. I wonder if, like, if they get caught, I get caught, which would suck. And I might have to uh, put them away for the time being. Oh, it's on the other side. It's by the lake. But that would kind of suck. I don't know if there's an option for that to where the followers can be invisible when stealth or just not. Uh, just not be found at all, pretty much. Got the stables. Holy shit, that thing almost ran me over. Ah, and there it is. There's the magnificent beehive place that we will be going to next time. We're going to be doing a bit of hive hunting. I believe that's it. Yeah, it's just across the way there. 
that's a beautiful picture. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tardy Penis. Nice and serene. Very, very relaxing. But uh, we're going to burn it down. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go over to these beehives. We're going to get into some trouble. Last time we, we joined the troublemakers, which was cool and all. Oh, there's a chest in this tree with a bunch of shit. Wind of Aza... 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 Az. How the fuck do I look at things again? God, I... Took me forever. Flawless Amethyst. Don't I need three of those? I do. I just need one more now. That's crazy. High Rock Silver Crown. Ah, here it is. Yeah, that's a unique axe, it looks like. Interesting. Bone Mold Armor of Conquest. Don't need those two things. But now I need to stash supplies. Stash materials first. Yeah, we can run after that. Cool. Uh oh. What the hell's going on over here? Are they attacking that chicken? Or whatever that is? Yeah, that's a chicken. They're not having it with those chickens. Is a, battering ram, a word for word translation of rage and power. Let those who rely on defense learn the depth of their folly. That's what I'm fucking talking about, dude. I got a fucking that spear. Actually, let's go swimming around. Oh, and it, now it's not deep enough. Oh, got deep a little bit there. Okay. Nice silent swim I'm going for. Yeah, I hear the, uh, beehives now all i have to do is find a way in okay cool is that water thing all the way over there i don't know what you're doing all the way over there we're just gonna sneak around We'll find an entrance right about here, it seems. Uh-oh. Oh, do I actually have to, like, burn them with something? Hold on. Uh, let me... J for journal. That's not what I wanted. Clear out a safe burn three feet... Three highs. Uh, so that would mean I need a flames spell. Okay, three of them down. Now all we got to do is get inside and get out. Oh shit, they're coming. Can't kill anyone. There's a guard posted there. Let's swim around and try to get on a different side. Yeah, this looks like a better approach. There's a guy right there. Maybe I can just come up from the dock. Hmm, if there's a way up from the dock. Don't quite see one. Okay, then we'll come in this way. That works. Let's get in, get out, gang. 
Oh, it's fucking locked. Of course it is. Wouldn't it be the Thieves Guild without a little lock picking. A lot of lock picking. Like a total ass ton of lock picking. Alright, let's go. Now I am taking like fucking five people in here, so <laughs> we'll see how the stealth goes. Hopefully there's no one inside. Because if there's one dude inside. That'll be a problem for us. Okay, it's down there or up there. Let's see if we can find some stairs here. No. No stairs here. Let's keep looking around. This is the kitchen area. Wanathan. <laughs> Everyone's sneaking but you. And you're making me nervous. No one in there. I'm about to run out of stamina. How do I regain stamina? Oh, okay, there it goes. Cool, thank God. Making me nervous. Oh shit, there is someone in here. What does this door lead to? Please be a staircase. God damn it. I hate losing lockpicks on easy fucking locks. Makes me so sad. No. Sapphire. Cool. So that to the fence. Okay. So we've got a problem here. There's one guy inside here. Maybe two. God, where are the fuck stairs? I just had to say something. Okay. Second story. Aquamarine. I'll take it. Fuck. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Past everyone. This is not the right way. <gasps> well, I'm in trouble now, baby. <laughs> I was told not to kill anyone, and yet here I am killing again. Oh, what the fuck? Well, those fools are actually fighting. Keep them busy. Don't kill them, though. You'd think the safe would be on the second floor, but it looks like it's not. Okay, should take everyone all. Everyone go back to sneaking. No! Where the fuck is this safe? Downstairs. Where are the downstairs now? God damn it. There's another locked door. Hopefully that leads downstairs. Nope. God damn it. This has gone to hell in a handbasket. Where the fuck are the downstairs, dude? Is 
this downstairs? Sure is. Fuck me. Go to the basement. <laughs> this is so scuffed. Hmm. It's even lower. Even lower than the basement, eh? Hello, sir. Please excuse me. You're fucking not wrong, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, he just fucking killed my ass. Holy hell. Never okay, let's see if I can get this again. Where are you? Sewer? Easy. Easy escape route. They didn't say anything about getting seen. They just said people no. killing. Oh, fuck. Put up a real fight. No, thank you. I can't kill anyone. Yep. Okay, mission accomplished, kind of, sort of. Let's jump in the water. Let's get back to whatever the hell we were doing. Back to Riften. Also, I got a quest for visiting the hatchery, the fishery, Riften fishery. It just popped up there while I was in between episodes, talk to these two people. I should speak with them about how I might be able to help and improve my fishing abilities in the process. I didn't even know I could fish. I mean, yeah, I just jump in there and kind of grab them with my little fingies, but I didn't know about fishing, fishing, you know? Back in Riften. I had another run in with a thief's guild. Be careful. A thieves guild has made a black mark. Okay. Downstairs we go. Do I have to go all the way back to that dude? I think I might have to. Well, you're fighting me now? No, you're not. Bitches, bitches. Oh, whatever shall I do? The dude that's not going to hurt me. That I fucking made him piss in his boots. Back at the rag and flag. And, and we still have to go deeper in. I should talk to this dude that's just following me. Figure out what his deal is. The lich guy. I'll do that after we turn in this quest. For sure, for sure. All right, dude. I'm back. I burnt their shit down and Where got out of there. Golden Glow has been hit. Good job, lad. Yes, and here's what was in the Let me safe. Take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow. What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Last. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. She knows Tardy Penis? Good, it's about time to meet her. I thought I'd do the job like you asked. Sure, but will I come out of there alive? <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just business. What does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Fair Don't enough. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of uh, which... Of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. 800 so bucks. Okay, cool. Well, 
Oh, can we just go this way? What does this go to? We never looked at. Just goes back to the ragged flagon. Uh oh. The hell is this? Chain to pull. Oh, it's a secret entrance. Shrine of Talos discovered. Okay, cool. And this is like right by the entrance. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I don't know if it needs to be daytime for her to... Well, we'll see if she's walking around. Once it hits daytime. If not, yeah, it looks like she's still in there. Being Barb. That place has so many entrances. <laughs> if you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Where is she? That's not her. Is she above me? She is above me. Yo. So you're the one. Hmm. Tati penis. You don't look so impressive. I'll have you know my penis is very impressive. I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> well, we skipped the conversation. Sorry to disappoint. Sorry you're disappointed. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, Brynjolf sends me someone with no backbone, no determination. I am the head of the College of Winterhold. I have no faith in the guild. <laughs> I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Technically, I guess. You won't have a pro won't have a problem with me. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunting Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in White Run and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. How do you become allied with the Thieves' Guild? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Huh. Who runs the show at Hunting Brew Meadery? Some layabout named Sabion. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Seems like more than just friendly competition. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabion get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. So get rid of them and they'll no longer be a threat. Exactly. With Sabion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. Why strike now? The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Sabion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. Fair enough. I have a price on my head in Riften. And you think that I care? Interesting. I don't believe in getting my hands dirty. You have people that handle those sort of things. Use them. Fair enough. Your name carries weight in Rift. Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. Jesus Christ, calm down, lady. What do you think of the Thalmor? We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Fair enough. All right. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. 
You butcher this job and you will be sorry. Okay, calm down, dude. This dude's just casually listening to our conversation. Not suspicious at all. Now, where are we off to? Where exactly? Let me see here. Barned mare in White Run. What? Okay. So we are seriously going somewhere else, eh? Okay. Fair enough. White Run it is. This won't end well for you. What the hell? Won't end well for who? Wanathan got his texture back for a second there. And the, uh... That other guy's gone. Interesting. This guy's still here. Okay. We are here for the mead... Meadery? Is this what it is? Mm, barn mare. Bannered mare. Sorry. Huh? Fuck you. Thank Come on you. in. Thank you. Let no, me know if please. you need anything or Hold take a seat blood. by the fire and I'll send One someone song. over. What say you? Yeah? How about no? Oh, right then. Let no. me talk to this dude. Hello. Get a man drink in peace. Maven sen said you're expecting me. I'm gonna me. keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. Ooh, you have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Oh, pest see. poison yes, and mead don't Those mix well, you know what I mean? How do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. How are we doing over here? Clever. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Are you joking? How do I get to the brewing vats? Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. What about just going through the brewery? Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. Why are you doing all this? I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. There's more to this than debt, isn't there? If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maven and I worked out a little deal. If Sabjorn ends up in jail, She's going to take over his meadery. And guess who gets to run the Blackbriar meadery in White Run? You're looking at him. Why bother poisoning the nest? Once Sabjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. Mm, One way or okay. another, we don't want the pests coming back. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. Okay, fair enough. Remember. Whose diary is this? <laughs> Sam okay. York will be needing a helping hand. When the Make cat's away. Away. Investigate Dragon Reach Dungeon for clues on her. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> besides that. Speak to him outside of Whiterun. Okay, cool. Oh, excuse me, everyone. Okay, so we just have to... Holy shit, your robes are blue. Anyway, 
We just have to clear out some pests. You cold, dude? You're all right. You know, I actually didn't even see if... Okay, yeah, the cursor is out here. Okay. So we can actually just jump off here. Wee! Very slowly, like Mary Poppins coming down. But I'm a lizard. Okay, so... There it is right there, I believe. Here we are. Easy peasy. Let's go in. Um, yeah, we just need to talk to him. We don't need to go in there yet. Maybe I can persuade him to let us through the front to poison the mead. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Is something wrong? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. That's the only way I operate. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Okay. You're better or are you a little skeever? Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. How do I permanently clear the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. You got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Okay. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Oh, yep. That does indeed seem like a problem. Key required. Oh, we have it. Okay. Weird. Did he give that to us or we just had it? I don't recall. Anyway. Oh, hello, everyone. Jesus Christ. These tunnels are huge. These skeevers did this? That's bullshit. Oh, hello, spiders. Ow. Okay. This is insane. There's no way Skeevers fucking made this big ass tunnel. Oh. Ow. I need to stop that. I'm about to die. I need to upgrade my, uh, my magic. I'll do that after I, uh... Why are there so many traps in this fucking... God damn it. <laughs> it's still... It's never not funny. But it's so annoying. You save an entire city from a dragon, and your reward is a title that is emptier than this Yarl's skull. Damn, okay. Shit, you don't have to go that hard. Who the fuck are you? Uh-oh. Not this shit again. Oh, he did it to himself, too! Look at that nice upskirt. So anyway, how was your day? You doing okay? Taking care of yourself? That's good. I can't believe this is happening again. Oh, but he's up and free before I am. Okay. Rude. You are not 
Okay, I get up right before he dies. Well. Ring of the arena. Okay, okay, he's dead, Serana. Serana, he's dead. Jesus fucking Christ. Three thieves, I already have this one. Take these potions and I'll unlock this chest. Went for nine gold, are you kidding me? There we go. Apply the poison to the nest. And is this the way to the... Uh -huh. Ow. Are these the barrels? Mead cask. No, it just wants me to fill the bottles from that. Doesn't any say anything about poisoning. Huh. Where do I poison them? Ah, uh, is it here? No? No? Ah, up top there. You need to go around. Fair enough. I don't know how I know exactly which thing is there. Yeah, maybe lower oh, that back. Run. Home of the companions and home of witless brutes exercising all muscles save the one that counts. This guy is just shitting on everything there is to shit on, huh? Okay, well, I need to go back all the way over there. Son of a bitch. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Was something we discussed unclear? No, job's finished. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. What about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sir Yorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. Yeah, I don't understand how that's the barrel. What? What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I don't understand how we fucking poison that one big batch and it's already here waiting. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. That's too funny. You good? You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. God damn. Well, Sam Bjorn. My money, though. It's okay. I'll get money from him. I don't think that could have gone any better. I don't think so Anything either. Anything else you need before you head back to Rifton? My pay? Need to go look at Sabborn's books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Key to the place? Yep. What are you gonna do with this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Oh. You never mentioned that lunatic living in the tunnels. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him. 
and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Okay. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Will do. Out we go. Right? Oh no, I need to go to the office. Fuck! Okay, now the office is above us. And I'm assuming there's stairs somewhere. Back here, maybe? Yep. And go all the way around. Oh, he couldn't give me the key. Oh, never mind. I did have the key. <laughs> Okie doke. Open display case. Nothing to display. Yes, that's the case. Okay. Some septum and a note. And then I return to her. Anything on this bookshelf that I don't already have? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Serana Skeever. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, I just took care of you motherfuckers. And here you are again. Okay. Back to what's her face. All right, I'm looking for what's her bitch. She back here still? Same spot. Hello, dock worker. I trust you have good news for me. Job's finished. Here's the information you requested. Doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. Yes, I've seen that symbol before. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Elven Sword of Devouring? That's what you gave me? I don't give a fuck about no sword. Uh... Yeah, this sucks. Out of my way. You suck. Whoa. Okay. In the Thieves Guild. Why is this guy all the way over here? Is he training? Training for something? No, you're just standing well, obviously the right there. Is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. That was my doing. <laughs> like he already forgot. Yeah, very fortunate for Maven. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? The same symbol from Golden Glow was involved. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Okay, fair enough. I'm on my way. Don't get mad. Please don't get mad. I'm over here. I'm coming. You can probably hear me from there. Ah, there Hello. you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I found the same marking in the honey, home, hunting, honing brew metering. It Jesus would Christ. seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You admire them. Maybe you should recruit them. Clever or not, they need to die. Maybe you should recruit them. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. 
According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Slimy bastard. Where do I begin? Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Okay. Going back to speak to him then. Is he still standing over here? Nope, he's gone. I have no questions. We will get going then. <laughs> oh, sorry, Wanathan. God damn. Oh, there he is. She's rude. Oh. Yeah, rude. Just like or think. Okay. Not who I was looking for. Rifton is a city of failures. When an imbecile cannot create on his own, he turns to death. Okay. Okay, here we are back at the museum. We're in solitude. Next episode, we're gonna find out who's been fucking with the guild, bro. Not cool. But for oh, why are all these children I running at me? How quickly Uriel's reign ended, like the tale of the dragon. Hello. I read stories about the solitude wing, though, and I didn't expect it to be that big. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna put shit up in the museum, and I will catch you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tarty Penis. Um, I've actually got a treat for you today. I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Hold on. <laughs> there he is. Hello there. Oh, it's cat vegetable. Oh, come with me. Epic. We got a whole team assembled. Okay, so today we are going to find out what the hell's up with this in solitude. What was it? Speak to this guy. Oh, that's right, because he is a um, go-between for the benefactor that's trying to screw you over. Okay. I remember it all now. Don't even worry. It only took a minute. But, let's go check it out. It says there's two places we can go to here. But I'm guessing it's two places to the same place. Whoop. I hit the 3D button, or the third person button, and it totally just fucking shit the bed. Oh, he's in the winking skeever. Maybe? Hello? Okay. Only one person at a time, apparently. Welcome to the Winking hey, Skeever. Watch it. Take a load off and I enjoy don't the have atmosphere. to take that from you. Nah. I don't think so. Okay. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? The oh, fuck? Just scratch. Damn, he hit him with the spinning back oh, fist, bro. Right. Get Enough. fucked. What are you doing? Those fools are actually fighting. Uh. No, not like this. Okay. I cannot best you. Please, someone do something. Weird. Okay, isn't this a um this good. in? Can I have hold on. One, two, three, four, five rooms. Five rooms? I six rooms? On if only Lydia was here. It would be six. So what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I'm here about the Golden Glow Estate. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You can drop the act. God, you leave? Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? You acted as a broker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. 
I can't oh, you definitely did. Remember every deal I handle. Identify the buyer and we'll forget what we know. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Okay, what about a bribe? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. God damn it. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> okay, well, now we have to go... And I failed to deliver the potion. Okay. Fair enough. Now we have to go find some beer or wine, fire wine. What is that, whiskey? No. Brandy? I don't know. We'll see, though. I hope it's in a very... Uh, not popular place. Did my game crash? Fuck. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, we got in. Okay, didn't crash this time. Only took me like fucking half an hour. Down crier. Don't care about you. That's it? It's just sitting right there? Right there for all to see? Wow. So glad that it took so long for me to get back here to do that. Who are you, Merlin? Samuel Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. Uh, can I have a sample of your blood? Not my problem. Cool. Uh, are you the no, court wizard? That honor is Sabeel Stentor's. A smart man steers clear of Stentor. And keeps himself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. Okay. You are free to leave. Wait, what do you mean by that? No. And keeps himself out of the dust. Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. Look at that. I've told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. I've said enough. Okay. You were excused. He would grant it more pressing consideration. May I help you, Arch? What have you got for sale? Let me look through some of this stuff, because I know she's got a ton of spells and that I need. Conjure Cat Totem. Summons a Nordic Totem Spirit for 71 seconds. It changes between warrior and cat form to heal. Weird. Leech Seed? Like Pokemon? For real? If that's a living target with poison spore for 10 seconds, when the caster falls below full health, the spore absorbs six points of health per second. Yep. Sure enough. Okay, well, I've kind of looked through everything, but nothing really caught my eye. What is this? Oh, I don't know. I bought it, though. Cool. Didn't need it from the museum, but let me see if I need anything else for the museum. Okay. I think we're done there. Take care of yourself and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. I meant no offense, okay. your grace. Rude. But I've been waiting. Let many... us go to my magic and sort things out. Rip. I actually bought a couple of spells. So let's see here. So I bought this for the museum. For the museum. Uh, I can read one of those. Elemental bolt I bought. Oh no, I bought it for the museum because that's the one I use. Elemental Flare is not a better spell. That is unfortunate. I thought it was. I didn't, uh... Didn't read properly, but nothing too new there. Uh, I do still have some better healing spells that I want to... Yeah, because I just use healing, which is 13 points of damage. Uh... Fast healing, which is 65, which is way better. I should put that on. So let me actually fuck me. I had seen enough. 
So I'm going to favorite fast healing. And I'm actually going to put that on my number three here. So I have regular healing on there. Fast healing I will put on three. And then regular healing I will put on five. Or six. So one, two, three, four. No, we can put it on five. That way, when I'm in trouble... Oh, and it's like... Okay. It's not a constant heal like healing is. Okay, interesting. Oh, am I over-encumbered? No. I clicked the walking button. Okay, good. God damn it, you're kidding me right now. Yep, and he's flying backwards just to show dominance. What a dickhead. What is he doing? He drifting in the air, dude? Not even flapping his wings, there he is. Eh, fuck you. I got wine to deliver. I ain't worried about no dragon. Well, I'm worried about my game crashing. Jesus. Okay. Well, that was surprisingly uneventful. What? My game crashed again? Are you kidding me? God, today sucks, bro. Okay, we're back in. Jesus Christ. I've been playing for 40 minutes and I have five minutes of usable footage. Hello. Ah, I got your fucking good. line. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. What did you give me? You're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act Bunch of soldiers? for something big. And she negative experience? A gold in oh, my fuck. Face and said all I had to do was pay Erangoth for the estate. I brought him the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did she say why she was doing this? Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I, I question everything. She was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. That's it? No name or anything? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying to me. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. The roads are you son of a bitch. Lots of travelers just disappear. Sounds Have a good day. Can't find a trace of them. Everyone, we're gonna follow him, okay? Now, I'm not saying anything. But I'm just pointing out... As soon as I bring cat vegetable Pizza. back... My game has crashed on me several times. Not, not... Pointing fingers, not judging him. Not, never gonna say he's cursed. Just saying. I love my little lad. It's just unfortunate. I love him to death. But it's like every other loading screen. We're not following you, dude. Where's the other guy? There he is. <laughs> This group of five people just casually walking behind this man. I am hidden. <laughs> we are hidden. This is too funny. If only Lydia were here, rest in peace. Okay, I'm actually going to fast forward until something happens. I will actually go shopping while I'm here. What do you have for sale? 
Anything cool? Dwarven bow of mud? <laughs> Nothing really cool that I want. Ooh, a wooden sword! Nah. He sells pretty much just crap. Oh my god, he's got a lot of potions and poisons, eh? Fishing maps? I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. All for the museum, eh? Ah, oh, damn. If only it was flawless amethyst. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go, baby. Good thing I checked, eh? Road lead you to warm so anyway, he's right here. He hasn't moved very far. This dude never looks behind him. It's kind of funny. He's going to the East Empire Trading Company? warehouse okay I was going into the dock like uh, that thing okay it just took a while for him to go through the door I guess what is that symbol down is there something below here Am I just wasting my time and he's getting away? I think I'm wasting my time and he's getting away. God damn it. Seriously? There we go. Okay, into the warehouse. Okay. Yeah, I know. I see him too, Cat Vegetable. Don't worry. We still got his trail. I straight up think this guy wants to be followed. going on? Why are there so many summons? Oh. The fuck? Ow. Ow. The fuck is going on? What the hell was that, cat vegetable? He's just like, I don't even know, dude. Okay. No. I can go up top here. Huh? Oh, look, Jonathan's got a texture. Oh shit, hello. Ah! I fell in the water. How the fuck do I get back up here? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, well, <laughs> my item's not charged. Awesome. T. Lesser. Yeah. 
I don't need that whip, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. And I don't need any of their armor, it seems. Now, where the hell did this guy go? There he is. Still just casually moseling along, even though... You get out of my face! Jesus Christ, I can't fucking understand anything that's going on right now. Okay. Jesus Christ. Where the fuck did this guy go? There's no way he doesn't know that we're following him now. Oh shit. Okay. Straight up got detected. Hello, everyone. Lonathan, you're looking good. You're looking snazzy. I like this new look. Did he bring you back? You got a soul now? Okay, looks like there's a secret entrance here. Very secret. Brinewater Grotto. Now I confront him. Cool. I have no idea what the hell is going on here, dude. There's so many people in my fucking way. Cat vegetables just fucking chilling, dude. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Wanathan's back to his old glowy ways, eh? Cool, y'all get him? Y'all got him. Okay. Iron pike. I don't need that, right? Yeah. I'm assuming I have all the iron stuff and steel stuff, all the early game stuff. Empty, why did I even check it? Hello! Why are some of y'all like really high level and others are like fucking nothing? Jesus! You've contracted vampirism? No. Is that what that said? Progresses to vampirism, yeah. Son of a bitch. Well, I got just the drink for that. I've been carrying around these fucking potions of... Oh shit, where are they actually? Cure disease, I got 25 of them. Easy, and now I no longer have vampirism. Cool. Steel quarter staff, I believe I have, yep. Oh. Damn, this dude really just ran super far away as soon as he got in here. Are these spiders in here? What the hell? Yep, called it. There's some big ass spiders that are level two. Let's see what's behind door number three. Oh, did I pass a door to get here? I sure did. How are you? Oh, <laughs> Serana brought someone back to life. Are you okay, sir? Okay. Serana's actually in danger. Cool. 
epic. I don't think I've seen epic gear before. I don't know if that's... Is that higher than flawless? I think flawless is the highest, highest I've seen. You can't hide Okay, ow. Ow. Get vegetable! Get that dog meat. Oh, bitch! It juked! That's it. Motherfucker. Oh, god damn it. Oh, killed him. Well, excuse me, everyone. Trying to just get back into the fucking fray here. Oh, my God. Having this many followers is such a detriment. Alteration's good. Yeah, someone's here, you fucking whore. I'm just fine, thank you. You won't even You're actually more of a threat than the guy with the claw. The guy with the bow is even more of a threat. Yeah, there he is. Oh, -ho, jukes, dumbass. Yes, I will. Oh, cool. How you doing? What the hell? I thought this dude. Hey! Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. Uh, tell me first, then I'll decide. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. You say that name like I should know Mercer it. never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where is she now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, Tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Fair enough. Okay. Well. Expert chest, eh? Okay. For nine gold, you really keeping nine gold for me, you fucking son of a bitch? Anyway. Fishing pole. I will take that fishing rod. Jesus Christ, there's so many people in my party. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you should kind of five. Leave Gollum Eye alive. Remove his head and leave it on his chair at the skiva. He is far more useful as a message than as a fence. What is your deal, they my waste guy? Your foes and let nothing go to waste. Uh Tell me about your servants. Of my servants, there were three whom I trusted with guarding my oh, body that's right. during the transfer. I'm finally going to talk to this the dude. Marius the Warlock, and the cleric Irelen, who herself left the Sigic Order to serve my will. Together they were powerful, but on their own they were nothing more than worthless sycophants. Such was the reasoning behind their selection. Yet only one managed to betray my will and kill the others in the process. Which one was that? Arrogance killed you. <laughs> Never trust a warlock. It's always the one you least expect. Your insinuation is foolish, mortal. I suspected her most of all. But not until the spell could rid itself of its limitations. For her service was not bound out of some maudlin sense of loyalty. 
Irulan served me because she sought the boon of immortality. It is avarice that bent her to my will. So I ask you, mortal, does one devote their entire life to a singular purpose, only to abandon it for chivalry at the moment it is within her grasp? Fair enough. Like trade, create an outfit for you. I need a moment of your time. Uh, I don't know. I guess. All let me uh, do that together that again. Yet only one managed to betray my illusion. Can sway emotion, but it cannot bend reality. I tested Fane's loyalty before accepting him in my service. The fool did not come alone. He and his brother sought to serve me. Yet only one was willing to kill the other and pay the price of immortality. Well, shit. Of my fame, together, yet only one managed to betray me. You never trust the a warlock. answer, for Marius had the faculty, but he lacked the desire. The warlock was a torturer. His service was bound not by his desire for immortality, but his unquenchable thirst to burn and maim the living. I provided a haven for him to conduct his experiments. To deprive me of my life is to deprive himself. So who fucking did it? Don't matter. I am right behind you. I know, and it's spooky. Okay, so back to the Thieves' Guild we go in order to tell him what's what. I guess the previous kind of like a, a thief in training or not in training, but you know what I mean. An old thief partner who killed the last guy is now after Mercer's head, which is totally expected, I guess. Excuse me, everyone. Um, not really a huge revelation there. But we shall see once we get back to Mercer. Okay, we're back at the Thieves' Guild. Where is Mercer? He's always at his post, it seems. I do not want to take the wine. I want to talk to him. Don't I give up any information on our buyer? He sure did. He said the Golden Glow was purchased by a Carlea. No. Carlea? It, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Uh, he also told me she was a murderer. Carlea destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my Carlyle. predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Why is she returned? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. Uh, told me she said where the end began. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Okay. Oh, excuse me, cat vegetable. Wanathan. Dogri Lawn, I guess. I don't know his name. I'll be real with you. Meet Mercer outside the Snowvale Sanctum north of Windhelm. Gotcha. Okay. Well, didn't mean to hit inventory. Hit meant to hit map. Now, where is this? Oh, do I need to do it in my journal? Yep right there and go to the stillborn cave and then head east northeast 
a cave. Burn everything inside. Calm down, my guy. Jesus, we're not even going to that cave. There's a lot of dungeons around here, eh? We need to, watch our steps inside. We need to wait for daytime, actually. I don't like doing things at night. It's too spooky. See, that looks much better, don't it? Wee. Quite a few dungeons. Maybe I can discover some of them before I go. Nordic Plateau. Okay. Ah, there he is. Snowvale Sanctum. You ready, dude? Good. You're finally here. Bitch, I I've fast traveled. The ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. You want me to lead? Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Uh... How did Gaius die? Five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but Gallus. he didn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Took both of you on our loan? Carlia was a master marksman. And her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. What happened after he died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men, and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were a part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septums and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Well, tell me about her. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Ah. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. So they had a relationship. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Why did she Greed? kill him? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing I intend to find Fun out before she draws her last breath. Isn't murder Dark Brotherhood's territory? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Okay. Let's get going. I want her head on my mantle. Well, son of a bitch. Sounds like we're going up against the absolute king of builds. The stealth archer. 
How the fuck do we get in here, though? Is it on top? It is. Okay. So this requires key. How do we get in? Do you have to let us in? It says requires key. How do we get in? Yes, yes. What is it now? Cannot be picked. Have your weapon at the ready. I'm Jesus. Carlia knows we're here. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. This one doesn't look too difficult. Jesus Christ, my man. Just open Quite it. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. That should do it. Okay. Everybody... Um, oh, I don't get any of my followers in here. Oh, no, they're here. Okay, fair enough. I need to sneak through this whole place. Tension here. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. Well, yeah, it's a catacomb. I'd assume everything is dead, hopefully. Do I not have this pike? Hmm. Guess I don't. What does this chain do? Use the key. Cool. I don't know what I picked up. I should have looked. Well. Okay. Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. <laughs> Gets in front of those spikes. Dumbass. Hello, sir. You okay? Oh shit! Oh, you're dead. Restoration up. <laughs> oh, helped me better understand restoration. That's cool. Triple R. Oh, I almost fucking flopped right into the fire. Ice arrows, eh? Oh shit. Hello. How the hell is she living here? All these fucking dudes. What's up, fucker? Death Lord, my ass. Thanos looking ass, get out of my face, homie.
Fuck you, homie. I think we already woke all the Draugr. I'm gonna save it right here, actually, now that we've come so far into the catacombs. Hello, everyone! These takes a lot of hits, dude. I can't even get up there. Let me up there. What the fuck? He just got an arrow in his head. Sorry. So many death lords, dude. Get fucked. I honestly don't even care about all these guys. What? You're not dead? Fuck you, homie. Are they all gone? Can't use all in combat. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, there's still people here. Oh, Skeever. Two Skeever. Is that all of them? Can I go back and use it now? Yep. Sure was all of them. Tink, 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 tink. Radioactive? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Why would it be radioactive? That's terrifying. I just have this radioactive rock on me now? Does it say radioactive? It does. Huh. It's just a flat little piece of stone? Okay. Anyway. Let's keep going. Oh, into the... Sanctum. Lot of combat. Oh, even more combat. You can't hide from me. Holy shit, there's so many people here. Okay. Wow, that is so much better. Actually goaded. If I have mana. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy. Holy shit, everyone! Two-handed up to 90, bro. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Rude as fuck. We're on the right track. Dude, this guy does so much fucking damage. I hope he doesn't die in a cutscene, you know. Hero Greatsword, eh? I'll take it. Okay. God damn it, can't hit shit. Oh, you 
cleared, eh? Doesn't seem cleared. I hear a word. Shadow blade. Ebony bow? I don't think I have one of those. Yeah. Oh, and then he had a bunch of arrows on him. I'll take that. Elven rapier. Ebony rapier. Ooh. Okay. What word do I learn today? So disarm. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as I walked past that, I was like, this guy's gonna pop up. Don't matter, though. Worthless. I need a claw? Do you have a claw? Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Shut up, you but can open that. Carlyle already did away with it. We're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. How do you do it? Carlyle is close. I'm What the fuck? It. How do you do well, it? Let's get moving. You bastard. <laughs> you actual son of a bitch. All right, let's save the game. Wow, that effect's just gonna play, huh? Uh-oh. What happened to me? Did I get hit in there with an arrow? Well, I found her, apparently. Yeah, it looks like she hit me with an arrow. Andy's gonna die in this cutscene, I bet. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Oh. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales. Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Uh-oh. She drink some skooma. I'm oh. not a fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Okay, goodbye. You're just gonna give up, even though you can clearly see her. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But you know what? Dude, I got like five most? people that need me. That this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Please don't kill me. Just stab me with nothing? Okay, bye bye Well, here I go dying again. <laughs> oh. Somebody saved me. Was it her? <gasps> Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on, you shot me! <laughs> no, I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding. Oh, there's everybody. Hello! I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. 
You should have shot Mercer instead. Then I'm in your debt. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why capture Mercer, Mercer alive? Must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what does it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps we could be translated? Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again, Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Some poisons. Okay. Why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Might not have a, a choice next I time. I promise you, if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Tell me about Gaius. A scholar, Gallus. A master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were... Very close. Were you lovers? Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Can't you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Okay. Remember, speak only to Anther. Trust no one else. Well, once again, we are going back to college. <laughs> and once again, we are leaving off the episode outside of the College of Winterhold. Ah, always a welcome sight. <laughs> it's so calming. Uh, next time. What Elias says is true. You too have managed to escape death through the slowing of time. Fortunately for you, Mercer left your head. Yes, indeed. Anyway, next time we're going to be uh, translating what his journal says, I guess, and hopefully taking down Mercer. It's crazy how much of this I don't remember. I have no recollection of this from playing the game originally, and it's so oddly fresh, but weirdly not. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tarty Penis and Wanathan and Serana and Cat Sorry. Vegetable and uh, the the Wraith dude. I keep forgetting his fucking name. Let me see. He's here somewhere. Dogri Lawn. Yeah, that's gonna take a while before I get that. Um. So last time we found out that we were betrayed, and uh, he killed the last. Uh, leader due to the the thieves guild and we've got the last dude's journal and we're gonna have it translated and that's why we're here and i can't get by excuse me excuse Sorry. me excuse, yeah but move Sorry. though stop Sorry. apologizing and actually move though jesus christ <laughs> okay now did i even put that no i did not let me go to hard answers. What? He's not even at the college. What the hell? 
I can't believe this. That's some bullshit. Let me just to you. Weird. He's like outside of the college. Oh, what is this now? The frozen heart. Interesting. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Okay, we'll do. Actually, I'm here for you. Hello. Yes. Yes. What is it? Uh, I'm looking for someone else to be Archmage. <laughs> Promotion. Uh, I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. Problem? Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Weird. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markar, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Okay. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. The okay, well... Ghouls astounds me. If you truly wish to rid the hold of mages, then learn their craft so you may learn their weakness. Jesus Christ, this guy. He's fucking... He's full dark side, dude. Like, what the hell? Give it a rest, bro. So, we're going to Markarth. Fun stuff. All the way over there. Did I not even... Oh, I didn't even freaking discover it. That's too funny. Well... He's probably going to ask us to do something in order to get his research from him or translate the journal in general. So why don't we take a look around? I haven't been to Markarth yet. I don't remember much about Markarth, but God damn, this looks good. A bit of jewelry for your journey home. Uh, sir? I've been looking for you. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Is someone there? Let's see here. I have a letter here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I die for my people. What the fuck was that? Serana. <laughs> Listen to the man. Come on. Well, that's quite the uh, warm welcome. Wow, <laughs> stripper naked and fucking leave. <laughs> okay. Another body to get rid of. Well, this place looks cool as hell. I forgot all about it. The river running through the center of the city. God, a woman attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? I saw the whole thing. He almost killed me. <laughs> He was shouting about the Forsworn. The Forsworn? Strange. Well, I hope the Eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. You know anything about the attack? Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Is this your note? What does it mean? My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the hell is that? Let's go. Oh, the fishing map I forgot to put up. Fill a sail that'll show everyone. Heretical thoughts. Gallus' journal encoded. Oh, let's look at this. Oh, it is written in a different language. That looks like it's written twice. Looks like it's written on top of on top of the language. Like there's a page missing, but the text is still there. Anyway. 
What is this? Ah, here's the note. <laughs> Meet me at the Shrine of Talos at midnight. Okay, dude. Uh, I guess we'll do that afterwards. Choking Grasp. Oh, I got that for the museum. That's right. But I haven't read it yet. So maybe I should... Oh, absorb 10 points of health? Yeah, no. I don't need that. Thank you. Lessons of Sheogorath. Okay. Got to put all those books up. Where is the Shrine of Talos? Is that it up there? Whoa, excuse me, everyone. Wow, this place is beautiful. I totally forgot about that. That... That head. It can't be. <laughs> ah, yes, the guards. Just doing their daily routines of meditating under the waterfall. Understone Keep. That's where I need to go, it says. So let's go in. Hopefully this was the right place to go. Damn, this place is awesome. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. What are you hiding? For what are you hiding? Typical imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead. You and the Yarrow will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thonghor. We're done. Okay, cool. If it's about the Hall of the Dead, no. You can't go in there. What's with the Hall of the Dead? <laughs> New to Skyrim? I was confused at first, too. The Nords call their mausoleums the Hall of the Dead. It's where people in the city are buried. Fathers, forefathers, mothers, foremothers. Okay. Why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Mm, I could help if you tell me. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of RK will reward you. Take my key and be careful. Okay. Tread lightly in the hall. You don't know what's in there. Fair enough. But first things first, we gotta talk to a man about a book. Hello, sir. You've got an armored mud crab friend. That's fucking sick. That's rad. I want one. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I want to buy some spells. Magic. That's what they always want. Never history. Never the secrets of the lost races. No, just little spells and enchantments. You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Tremor in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. Oh, I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? What do you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Hmm. I shall take a look-see. Oh my god, I did get one. Cool. Okay. Well, let me first. Try not to disturb me in the future. I'm in the midst of groundbreaking research. Okay. So let me go through what I bought exactly. There wasn't a ton of. So I think. Um. I think the highest damaging thing that I can get is, in fact, the elemental bolt which is 39 points of damage. But I did find this Thundercrack, 
that's 65 points of damage, but it's at a very close range. So we're going to try that. I bought the deed to the mud crab. So now I can teleport a pet mud crab. I did buy leech seed because I thought it was funny. Uh, Ice spike for 41 points of damage. But Firebolt also does 41 points of damage, but I don't see that being better than the Elemental Bolt. Uh, yeah, and then I just bought a couple books to uh, put in the museum. And yeah, that was it. So let's talk you to him about... This, so this better be important. I heard your authority on Ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Cool. Perhaps I could view your work? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Persuade, I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I Damn still it. have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. Bribe? Oh, it costs to change your mind. I'm not how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. God damn it. Give me access to your regret. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. Forget it. Maybe I'll come back later. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Damn. Could I just take his key? Think you can steal from me? Well, stop right there. You kind of picked a fight with a fuck ton of people. Submit, I'll take you to jail. Everything here appears to be in order. Now we can move along now. Okay, he can't die. That's good. Oh, the museum key's right here. Okay, he's actually just gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna reload that. Unfortunate. I shouldn't have done that to begin with. Let's be real. Okay, so I'm back. I redid everything. And then, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna... Yoink! Good day, sir. Let's level up and put that into magic. Cool, 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 cool. And then all we have to do is what exactly? We have to, oh, don't need to do that. It should be up here. Gain entry to his museum. Oh, he's got a museum. Oh, that bastard. It's over here. Okay. Hold. Oh. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Uh, why can't I go in? Because Calcilmo doesn't want anyone to go in. He runs the museum. He makes the rules. Do you have a problem with that? Go talk to him. You'll find him in front of the ruins during the day, just down the tunnel. Okay. You're here to see the yard. No sudden moves. Understand? Uh, how do you feel about your post here? Can't believe I'm posted here. Even the beds are made of stone. Uh huh. That's all you really have to say, Until huh? Next time. So what would happen if? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, so he's not gonna stop me per se. He just wanted to let me know. That's good to know. Shit. Okay, now we're playing some Zelda Ocarina of Time Ring Around the Rosie type shit. Son of a bitch, I think he just saw me. You're trespassing here. You better clear out. Okay. What the hell is going on? No, don't fight him. No, don't fight him. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? Son of a bitch. Going, 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 going. Oh, I don't know. They're probably going to follow me. Let's be real. They're going to They're going to fucking follow me so bad. I just need this journal translated, my guy. And my game crashed. <laughs> okay. Don't crash. Please, for the love of God, do not crash. Sir, are you serious? You heard me, Captain. Our work must not be disturbed. Kill any intruders on sight. Call for backup if you need it. But let no one through. As you say, sir. Well, shit. That's a bit of a problem, ain't it? Okay. Door. Okay. I feel like this is a bad play. I feel like I'm gonna rack up quite a debt here. Wizard's guard. Oh shit. Ah, what the fuck? Got vegetable. <laughs> well, fuck it. You sure are, and then you're dead. <laughs> this man's zigzagging his way over to me. I can't do nothing. All my friends are... Oh, hello. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck is wrong with me? Oh my god, there's so many of these fucking people. Where are you? Oh ho! You're dumb. You gonna die for that. Holy shit, you do some damage, sir. Cool. <laughs> Just default pose. Okay, well fuck it. We're going we're going hard this time then. Never should have come here. Probably not. Just as a simple thing to watch. 
Oh, did y'all finally catch up? They got like a hundred bucks each on them. I'm trying here, dude. It fucked, idiot. Oh my god. Almost fucking died. And I've died. Shot me point blank with a fucking crossbow. Okay, that's not fair. You know what? I'm gonna try to do a little cheeky invisible. Where's all these potions of invisibility I have? Your disease, potion of invisibility, 15 seconds, 19 seconds, 33 seconds. Not very good. I sworn I had more than just that. Oh, well. It says I'm still highly visible. Who is seeing me? What was that? What was that? I don't even know, dude. No, you're lying. You're lying. You're just goofing. God damn it. Ah, damn. Fucking scream. Okay. Where are you? And in another potion of invisibility. Can't hide from me. Huh? 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 I don't think it's working, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Okay, everyone. Oh. Probably. Let's be real. God, that is so much better. Thank you to whoever told me to fucking go get better healing spells. I appreciate it a lot. Watcha! It's on fire and I'm decapitated. Look. <laughs> okay, we're finally further than we've ever been. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh no, what happened to me? Get up! Cool, thank you. Should 
Sure does. They're gonna find all these burnt bodies and be like, he took all the keys <laughs> and all the gold and arrows too. Taking a fuck ton of arrows, bro. Hey, it's almost here. This is probably the worst way to do this. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, there's two down. Oh, 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 oh. You sure you have? <laughs> Me just fucking... Yep. Ruthless, my guy. There's that fucking wizard. Oh, he died. Somehow. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is so unhinged. I fucking can't believe I'm doing this. But all this for a fucking research notes on how to translate shit. I was like, if I don't have the key for this, I'm going to be so pissed. I just wonder what my bounty is going to be when I get out of here, you know? That's where I'm going to spend all my money, dude. Taxes. Ugh. Okay, please let no one be in here. Looks like no one's in here. I need to get up there somehow. Which means I have to... Aw, oh, I can jump. I can't jump, dude. White lizards can't jump. You don't have the... Items required to copy the inscription. Duplicate the writing. But how? Do I need charcoal and paper? Oh my god, cat vegetable, you scared the fuck out of me. Let's try it. Let's steal a roll of paper. I'll steal a couple. And then some charcoal sticks. Let's try it. Dude, I'm such a fucking genius, bro. Uh-oh. Well, I tried to kill him. Shit. Ow. My face. Gotcha, fucker. Finally. Ow. Okay. Piss me off. Whoops. Hey, you're gonna die. Poke. I was just like, I kind of want to kill the captain. The captain's dead now, for sure. I don't think there was really any other way to do this. I really needed this. I doubt it, though. Okay, and then now that we can exit and this goes outside, hopefully I can just fast travel away. Let's see here. This is technically outside. Oh, what do I still need to do? Oh, I need to return to him. Fuck. Can't fast travel with enemies nearby. No, dude. Okay, well, good thing I got the fucking. Can I not jump over this? I can't jump over this? Are you serious right now? 
Oh my god, all the city guards hate me. Oh no, dude. Oh, what is this? I could probably fall through the waterfall. Ooh, cool. Interesting. That's cool. Ow. Stop it. I surrender. Ow. Ow. Okay, so let me give something a Google because I need to learn how to yield. Okay, well, I don't know if that's going to work. But it said to just pull out my thing and then put it away. Actually, they're not hostile, it looks like. And I just fast travel to... College? No. I can't. Okay, oh well. Oh. City guard. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. Man's been hitting the skooma, I say. Uh, can you tell me about Mark? Where is there to do? Yes. You need a drink. It's the silver blood in you're looking for. This man has no idea. I just massacred an entire fucking platoon. <laughs> Anything to watch out for on the roads? The Forsworn have been spotted to the north near Bruca's Leap Redoubt. Okay, who rules Marka? Marka sits on the mournful throne. You can find him in the keep, in the back end of the city inside the mountain. Okay. All right then. All right then. Cool. Let's go talk to this dude. <laughs> I guess everything's fine now. No bounty. Everything's a-okay. We're all buds now. Oh, what the hell? Where do oh, that was the in exit. Where the hell's the guy I had to talk to? Oh, that's right. He was over here in the car. Oh, I'm stupid. I don't know why I thought he was in Markov when I talked to him. That was so dumb of me. Okay. Back at the college. Oh, is he actually in the college this time? Look at that. Cool. Oh, damn. Everybody's here. Can I help you? Oh, look like they were about to give me an intervention. It's like, sir, you need to stop killing these guards, please, for the love of God. Okay, and he's right there. Just chilling. Back, eh? And how was our friend Caselmo? Uh, just, he's just peachy. Everyone over there is just, uh, so alive and well. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. Uh, this should translate. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. Okay, A fair rubbing, enough. Eh? Odd. I expected notes. Uh, it's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. <laughs> you guys are so in sync. Are you gonna move? You gonna uh, move? Scale, this better be good. serves the young and curious mind, providing a base from which he can develop and educate himself on his own. That's a good thing, right? That's like the most positive thing you've had to say this entire fucking journey. Okay, he's walking now. Cat vegetable, get out of his way, please. We do not need this fucking up at the last second. Okay, well, I'm going to follow this man. I'll be right back. He's looking how to use the door. Do you need help? No, you got it. Okay, good. Okay, so I had a bit of trouble with him. I, uh, in order to fix it, I tried disabling him, re-enabling him. It really didn't do anything. He just stopped moving in general. And, uh, in order to counteract it, uh, fix it. 
I actually went back to Solitude, put everything up in the museum, sold a bunch of stuff, yada yada yada. But he's fine here now. I had to fast travel far away to deload them and then fast travel back. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. But you do. Hello. Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Enther. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Winterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Cool. She should be Archmage. <laughs> okay. If you have further need to me, before Mercy can do any more damage college. to the guild. Mention, uh, Gallus' journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Sepulchre. Return. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Thieves and temples, it just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time, you'll understand what I mean. I don't... I'd understand better if it was less mystery involved. The Nightingale. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Very well. We do it your way for I'm now. i for and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Nightingale Blade. Okay. Absorb 27 points of health and stamina weakens the targets to physical damage by 15% for 3 seconds. Wow. Uh, definitely going in the museum. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, no, you don't. Holy shit! Holy shit! What the fuck is going on? Oh my god! I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> Dude, I was just trying to get to the fucking next point. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna fast travel and end the episode off at the entrance to the ragged, ragged flagon. And then all of a sudden, I'm just attacked and down by three fucking werewolves. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This game, dude. Let's try this again. 
Everybody get your weapons out. Jesus Christ, it's gonna be an attack. Hello? Greetings, traveler. I don't think we've met. My name's Kaylee. I don't have time. Okay, I'm really I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. They just spawned out of nowhere. Holy shit! Set them on the fucking roof! <laughs> Come on, you bitch. Oh, shut the fuck up. Now there's a dragon? Fuck is happening, bro? This is the worst ending to any episode I've ever had. I'll see you in peace. I can poke him over here, though. Okay, there's that. Oh, hello, big dragon. And he's gonna be flying in and out of my fucking ship, eh? And it's nighttime. Holy fucking shit, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Search the thief's body. God damn, if I can do anything. Ow, 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 fuck! No, dude! God fucking damn it. Okay, well, fuck this. Uh, I'm gonna leave that off for the next episode. Uh... <laughs> This is a fucking mess. I just want to go to bed, Kevin. What have I done? Uh, I'll see you in the next one. We're definitely going to have a, another fun episode. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tarty Penis and Cat Vegetable now. Look at him. So cute. Um, last time... Mocks me as I mock the void. I will never again taste the fruit from an oasis tree or smell its pallid fragrance. That's so sad. Anyway, uh, last time we translated the book, we fucking killed a lot of people with Mark Arth. Oh my god, we killed so many people. But that's irrelevant now because we got what we wanted. And now we are going to confront the Thieves Guild with the evidence of him being a murderer. Last time, um... I tried to fast travel there and things got a little out of hand. So this time I'm going to fast travel there and handle it actually. <laughs> Not when I'm trying to end the episode, but right at the start. Okay. I'm going to save the game here so that we don't have to reload every time we die. Fast travel again. You ready, cat vegetable? The smell of this fucking corpse attracts attention. As you lack the creativity to find an excuse, I will devise an alteration spell to mask it. Okay. Rude. I can smell a corpse if I want to, bro. Okay, and there's all the werewolves. Yo, getting launched, bro. Oh my god, no. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, there's wolves, too? There's regular wolves? Holy shit, I have no- I just trapped myself in a fucking corner like a retard. Okay, cool. This one doesn't do all that much damage. He tripped. 
Okay, one down. Okay, two down. There's one last one all the way over there. Oh, there's two. Why the fuck did they just have a fucking gang war right here, dude? Ow. Serana, sorry. Okay. Is everyone dead? Werewolf be were beast pelt. Werewolf pelt. I'll take all that. Order of the yard. Stop right there. What? What did I do? I'm with the guild. Is this enough to clear my bounty? But it will cost you. What do you say? Okay, clear my bounty. Now move along before you get me in trouble. Search the thief's body. The Imperials think we need their laws. Okay, I didn't think, uh, from deepest fathoms. That's cool. Now, where was this thief's body that I'm looking for here? Let me see if there's a... Yeah, search thief's body. Is there a... There is a marker for it. Okay. Another wolf. Rift in armor, I think I have already. I don't have the helmet. Okay. Steel whip, steel claws I have. Okay, now where the fuck was this? Now, is this showing... Search the thief's body. Okay, yeah. So that's not... That's the one I'm looking for. I don't even know where the fuck this guy is or was. Damn, it's all the way over here, bro. He got knocked the fuck out. Silver platter. Okay, I've searched him. I've taken everything off of him. What does it want me to do? Sir? Sir? Okay. I guess that's glitched. Oh well. Well, we've taken down the werewolves. Let's actually try to go to the Ragged Flagon now. Uh, it's this way, right? Yeet. Cool. Oops. No dragon this time, thankfully. Thank God. But... Might have to reload it to have that thief's body. Be careful. You shut up. All right. We're here at the ragged flagon. Oh my God. I keep hitting F to interact with things because every other game does F, <laughs> but this one's E. I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? I'm ready. Let's go. What if Mercer's there? Then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best. Remember, we have proof and all he's got is his word. I'm ready, let's go. Open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Oh my god, I gotta follow you there. Jesus. Don't I have a walk button? My walk is still faster than your walk. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hurry it up. Okay. She has been followed. You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlyle. 
or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Dallas's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Oh? Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years. Right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Queen. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. How can Mercer open up a vault that needs two keys? It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick them up. What's she all about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. I've used my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Uh, oh, everybody's trying to move past my minions. Wanathan, you need to move, boy. Wanathan! All right, everybody out. Everybody out of the fucking way, please. Wanathan's very ethereal today, eh? It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. Yep. Seems that everything's gone. The gold. It's yours. It's so good. Your roof is leaking. Toronto, stop vibrating, please. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right now. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flag. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. Mercer killed Gallus, not Carlia. They were nightingales. They were. Okay. I, I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? Uh, they're supposed to be secret, right? Carlo was behind the Golden Glow and Honeybird. Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? I guess I have to tell them that they were nightingales. What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tail. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Nope, that's it. Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home. And search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. He has a house in Riften? Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there. Just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Vol to guard the place. I'll take care of it. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in. Get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. What's the best way to get into it? Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself. And that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. Second floor balcony in his backyard. I don't suppose the ramp is... Easy to access. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer Commission for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Hmm, okay. What's missing from the vault? Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Plans for what? Before Mercer took over, 
Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates. Hey, Indeed. watch the museums, the boy. Mercer took over the guild. We must have had a few dozen. How could he have opened the vault door alone? I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. You mentioned a watchdog? Oh, that'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Okay, I'll talk to Vex then. I don't want to lose anyone else in that madman. Who is that? Sapphire? I dare Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in the cistern and I'll cut it off. Okay. <laughs> it brings me no shortage of delight to see these thieves lose their spoils in the very manner with which it was obtained. <laughs> okay, rude. Have vegetable. You're being a little shit right now. Thank you. Oh, got the chain. Oh my god. The inside of my face looks horrible. Oh, I guess we're not talking to Vex about it. I'm sure she could give... Uh, let's go talk to Vex. I'm sure she can give us some the insight on... Uh, persuasion. And he did tell her to watch the flagon, so... I'm sure she's here somewhere. Knives? That's funny. Huh. What? I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. What are you talking about? I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have Excuse me, what's wrong with my face? More artful than nature has bestowed upon you. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Change my appearance. Wow. Uh, are you sure you know what you're doing? I have not always been a ragged beggar. I learned my art from the masters of the art of flesh sculpture. I studied with the faculty of chirurgeons and cloud rest. I walked with the hollow-faced men of Notohogra for three years. I count the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my clients. And yet, I have fallen so low that I must justify myself to a wanderer in the sewers of this backwater of the world. Change it. I can remake your face, if that's what you desire. I do not practice my art for free, however. I doubt you can afford my services. You have the smell of the vagabond about you. What the fuck? I'm literally rich as shit. Fuck you. Indeed. It is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. But that's cool. I'm Boy, glad that's a thing. But where the fuck is Vex? Oh. You must if have just sat down. Pray, I'll pluck his eyes from his skull with my bare hands. Uh, he said you had info on Vault. That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Want to get on his good side. Vald? Good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. So buy him off? Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. Hmm. While you're Let's in do there, this. Help yourself to anything in Frey's manner. I would. Let's do this bloodless, shall we? Probably won't happen, but uh, can't fault me for not trying. You know. Is she still in the bee in the barb? If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Okay, we also need to come here for Mustache Argonian Man. Whoop, this way. Let's see, where is Mustache Argonian Man?
Hmm. Hmm. Must be upstairs. And the black flyer's not here. Okay. Well. That sucks. Not sleeping in any of these beds, is he? He is. Begging your pardon, my lord. Perhaps would you be interested in the white gold tower? I found those amethysts you wanted. I, I, I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. Ultimate healing. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, oh. congratulations. Hope she said yes. Anyway, where is Blackbriar? I'm guessing she would be... Somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. Um, let's see if we can sneak right in. Okay, so there's three here. Maybe I can just bribe him. Acquires key, eh? Is this his house? There's no way. This was the temple. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, there's still this fucking thing right here. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to find on his body. Did I pick up a book or something that I missed? Let me see here. I think I've read everything in my inventory. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know what they were wanting me to find. Oh, there you are, sir. Bald. This is Mercer Frey's place, and he don't like visitors. Now go away. And you get inside. No visitors. No way. Now piss off before you make me mad. I'll make it worth your wild. You ain't got enough coin to make my problems go away. Unless you can talk Maven Blackbriar into letting me out of my debt. You try and set one foot in this yard and I'll cut it off. Well... Mercer needs you and Markoth right away. Come on, I ain't that dumb. Okay, well, fair. All right. <laughs> Ah, and there's the... Can I hit that from here? Is someone there? Oh! I didn't do nothing. Oh, he's no, gonna go chicken. Oh, what? Do you aggro? No, dude. Okay, well. Fuck. You know how it goes. Oh my god, Serana, I'm so sorry! Oh my god. Oh my god. I fucking killed her, dude. Holy shit. I think you're a vampire. Cool. Unfortunate for him, honestly. That was kind of his fault. For real. The fuck is that thing? been here so was long, and what do we have to show for it? I can't believe I got cold. I died before I went back. Looks like there's more people here. Is huh? someone there? Yeah, but I can't get through my buddies yeah, here. Mom. Does someone feel among Death comes for you now. Well. Oh, no. I, I got around. Are you alive still? Okay, ow. Okay, one down. And then they've got, uh... Oh, she's back up. They did that fucking paralyzed spell to her. Okay, cool.
Okay. Well, that was nice and not simple. Now I can't give past cat vegetable. Come on, buddy. Okay. He's the only one that doesn't move out of the way. And it's super fucking bullshit. Alright, well, I'm not a very stealthy penis, so... This is just... Gonna have to be the way it is, you know what I mean? Amulet of Kings. I'll take all his silver shit. Since he's being a big asshole. Okay, excuse me, everyone. Downstairs. Aha. Uh -huh. Another statue. Very pretty. What? Come on. Hmm. Looks like the place has been ransacked, so I'm assuming those are the bandits that he was talking about. Downstairs in the kitchen? Doesn't look like there's much of anything. Never mind, cheese. Um. Hmm. Okay. And I'm assuming these... Bar is locked in place and cannot be opened. Okay. What's behind door number one? It's a whole lot of nothing, dude. Ruined book. That's good. Activate door bar. Nope. Suspicious cabinet. False back panel. Oh, we in it now, baby. Yeah, all right. Okay, cool. And he's got a little thing down in the sewer. That's a big trap if I've ever seen one. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn it. <laughs> really? This was my fucking autosave? Really? Why take a chance? All the living shall fear the Well, now I gotta wait. Huh. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. I can always just fucking go past him. All the living shall fear. We'll see if he lives. If he follows us, he's a dead man. Is someone there? Yep. Hang on. Did you hear something? I guess with these guys, it was never gonna be bloodless, eh? Okay. Orcish Warhammer, eh? Cool. So we actually know what we're looking for now. Got a statue. Wasn't there another statue somewhere down here? I don't think so. Oh, well, I don't care about the statues. Okay, we're back. What does this do? Okay, good to know. Let me save the game. That way... Oh, those are... They have scorch marks on them. I see now. Ow. Holy fucking shit, I'm dying. Um. 
we're gonna die. It's a good thing I saved. Okay. There's that. Okay. Cat vegetable. Please get out of the way. It's like he always stands in the exact center, so I can't go around him anytime. That vegetable's fucking brave as fuck, dude. He doesn't care about nothing, dude. Ow, I fucking... I fucking hit the trap, not the fucking door, dude. This place has so many goddamn traps. Ow. Okay, I don't know what hit me there. But he didn't kill me. So it only makes me stronger. Okay, here we are at this fucking thing. Okay, easy. Okay, Mercer's plans. Many thanks. My man. Anyway. Ring of the Grey. Oh, one? stop it. Oh. What is the Ring of the Grey? Ring of the Grey. Sneaking is 20% more effective. Bows do 20% more damage and increase poison resistance by 25%. Interesting. Bust of the Grey Fox, you fucking bet your ass. Return it to Delvin? I don't want to do that. I want it from a museum. God damn it. I almost had it. There we go. What's so special about this sword? Chillrind. Target takes 33 points of frost damage to health and stamina, reduces frost resistance by 55%, and chance to freeze targets with less than 20, negative 25% uh, frost resistance for 10 seconds. Interesting. A lot of good finds. Does that say of the Noble Knight? Necklace of the Noble... Ring of the Noble Knight. Oh, heavy armor is increased by 25%. Okay. I thought that was another summoning thing. And I was like, you bet your ass we're putting a ring on. That summons a dude. Anyway... Enter the Rataway right Vault. So now... Oh, okay. This is where we met our friend. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, now I just need to remember how the fuck to get out of here. I think it was actually this way. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Well, we got the plans. We'll see if we can catch up to him, even though he's got such a wild head start that there's no way that we should be able to get to him. Ah, uh, yep. Everybody excuse me. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And I have what is needed. Oh, so this is your post now. I see how it is. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? He wasn't there, but I found these plans. Sure's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Then we have to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Oh, dude, you're the one that has to hurry up. Trinity restored. 
Listen to Carlia. All right, everybody, get out of the man's way so he can talk to you. <sighs> I hate these fucking NPCs walking and I have to follow them or wait for them to fucking do anything. It's so annoying. Ugh. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. You have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riftwood, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Okay. I'll probably get there first, since y'all walk so fucking slow. But let's get going. I really like this secret entrance. I think it's super rad. Right behind the fucking... Uh... Hold on. Did the map update? Or the journal update? Yeah, Trinity restored. It's rumored the Grey Fox is buried in the cemetery in Riften, so he... If so, he may be buried with his cowl. Oh, okay. Me Carlia at the Standing Stone. And that is that way. I can put my fucking shit away now. Is this an exit? Oh my god, it is. I had no idea. It's not even that grand of an entrance, you know? Oh wow, this is nice. Lorift and docks. Okay. I had no idea they even had docks. That's funny. Did say catch dragonfly? It did. I thought it was a fish. Oh, uh, there was a fish. Salmon. Okay, I've gotten all those fish. So let's go. Oh, is it that way? World map. It is that way. How did I not get the docks? when I've been to the fishery. That's crazy. Okay, well, I'm going the complete opposite direction. Let me uh, find my way over there. Ah, there's the big stone. Okay. Cool. I'm glad you're here. I am too. What's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> this way, please. Okay, so we're going back into the cave here. What is this? Follow Kalara. Nightingale Hall. Okay. Well, I remember there being a little bit more to this quest line. So I think I'm going to leave it off for today. And then next time we become nightingales, probably, if I remember correctly. And I remember there's something with like a a key arrow or some shit. I don't recall, but I'll figure it out next time. I'll see you in the next one.